Uh, hello, yes. Could I speak to Mr. or Mrs. Florentine? Yeah. Yes, I guess this is Mr. Florentine? E uh, Mrs. Uh, this, this is Mrs. All right. Well, my name's Derek. I'm calling from the vacuum factory. They'll offer you a 30-day in-home trial with no money down and no obligation to buy. Would that interest you at all? Um, it's for vacuum? Uh, yeah, the eight-pound upright? Um, I'd like to have a vacuum. I just... I don't have any arms. Is there any way, is there any kind of, the vacuum, like the, the top piece, would I be able to? There, it's a looped handle. Would I be able to, because I probably have to use my mouth to push it. I don't know, is it a heavy vacuum? Uh, it's only eight pounds. Eight pounds, that might work. I probably wouldn't recommend it. No? No. Why is that? Um, I... So I, mean, I could sweep the floor with that, no problem. You know, you could use a broom. Oh, I see. You know, yeah. if I have the broom between my teeth. I see. Well, yeah, if you've done that, uh, I guess you could do it uh, with a vacuum. Would you like a trial on it? Um. Or did you want to think about it some more? I do kind of think about it. Uh, are you in Jersey? I know. Uh, no, we're in New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, damn, because I'm, uh, I'm in the house by myself, and I, I need to get out. I don't, But I can't get the door open. I see. All I right, need well, somebody to button my shirt. So uh, I'll just send you some literature, and you can read it all over. Uh, so thanks for your time anyway. Do you have a bunch of pieces with it, too, like... Um, Attachments? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, I wonder if I could do... It. Maybe they can work as a prosthesis arm with a vacuum. I see. Uh, no, I'm just I'm wondering maybe that, because I've done that with hangers before. I see. Well, yeah, we have extension ones. Do you think that could, would, would it actually work maybe as an arm? Because uh, I have stuff that I can actually put it on to the stump with. I wonder if I can steer the vacuum with maybe one of the extension pieces that you guys have. I see. Well, I'll go ahead and, uh, like I said, it, it's some pretty detailed literature, so I'll just mail that to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can read it all over, and it, it has pictures of it, so you can, you know, make just make a judgment call on that. Right. All right. So, uh, would, thanks for your time anyway. Um, bye -bye. Do you know if it would? Hello? Yes. Yeah. This is Matt from... Who? No, it's about the eight-pound vacuum. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Right now, we're offering a 30-day risk-free trial. So you can try out the vacuum and see how you like it before you decide to purchase it. Would you like to do that? <laughs> yeah. What's that? I'm sorry? Did you want to try one out for 30 days, see how you like it? Oh, man. Damn. Uh, let me ask you something. Um, my girlfriend's pregnant, right? You think um, I could use it for an abortion? Uh, probably it might work. The little canister that comes along with it. So yeah, I, would, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't want to have that baby considering it's yours. What do you mean by that? Oh, well, that's what I said. What is that supposed to mean? All righty. Thanks for anything. What is, no, sorry. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you see, I have other customers that call. They don't burp on the phone all the time. Oh, sorry. So I burped on the phone? Will you call me when I'm f***ing eating and you say I'm bothering you because I burp? Right. Well, I didn't know you were eating. Well, I, you know, I mean, you call at 7.30 right. and, and I'm bothering you because I burp? Okay, no What, are you a woman that you can't take a burp in the face? Not from a disgusting person. Oh, so, so I burp, so that means I can't bring a kid into the world. Is that what it means? Does it? Sir? Huh? You get a 10 for that one. Hello? Hi, Patrick? Yeah. Yeah. Richard is here with Capital. How you doing today? What's up, bitch? What's that? I said, what's up, bitch? No, Rich, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Want to let you know that we're focused here in Portland, Oregon, on the uh, energy sector with uh, natural gas, crude oil, unleaded gas, and heating oil. We believe in about a week's time we will isolate a situation where a 100-200% return in a two to three month time frame is very realistic in these markets here. Are you serious, bitch? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Whether you just, you're just so, such a loser there that that's the only way you can talk, is that right? Yeah, bitch.
Or just because you don't have any money, do you just sit there and back like a punk? Is that why you do that? Yeah, that's it. I guess you're at home during the day, so you must be sitting there just watching uh, Playboy's Hammer. Yeah, how did you know? I wish you had a girlfriend. Got something right. You're trying to sell me some crap over the phone, and you're calling me a loser? You're going to take innocent people's money, some crap. If it was so good, you would just invest all your money yourself. Why are you calling people? What are you doing at home during the day? That's what i got to wonder. I'm waiting for you to call. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, but I got a string of little boys walking through your apartment, don't you? Yeah. And your son is the first one. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. You're real clever, aren't you? Yeah. I, I guess I'm just wasting my time with a guy who can't get out his ass off the couch in there in the middle of the day, I guess, right? Yeah, that's it. All right. Good. Why don't you go back to the porno channel, okay, buddy? All right. Thanks, bitch. Hello. Yes. I'm calling on behalf of the record newspaper let you know about a special that we're running right now that we've expanded to cover and changes in your area. The what? I'm calling to let you know about the changes that we made in your area and expanded coverage. I did reach you at 941-2586. Is that correct, sir? The what? Record newspaper. The what? Record record newspaper, sir. And we're get, what we're trying to do is we're trying to give you our best offer ever for just 26 cents a week. A low, low cost. And it's the best offer ever for a limited time only. The what? The record. I'm calling to tell you about a special service that we're having. Low, low cost is just 26 cents a week, which is our best offer for a limited time only. I did reach you at 941-2586, is that correct? The what? The record. Yes. I'm calling to tell you about the record newspaper that we're having. We're Friday, Saturday special delivery rate for low, low cost is 26 cents a week. It's our best offer ever and it's available for a limited time only. I did reach you at 941-2586, is that correct, sir? It the what? Newspaper. Record. The best offer ever. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Low cost of just 26 cents a week. And it's available for a limited time only. I did reach you at 9412586. Is that correct? <laughs> the what? Newspaper. The record. Right. And I guess our best offer ever. Just 26 cents a week. I reached you at 941-2586. My first name is Daniel. What is yours? The what? My first name is Daniel. What is yours? The what? The record. He's not getting it. Okay. My name is Daniel. And you are? And you are, sir? The, re the record. Yeah. The record. Yeah. And we're having a special offer. And I did reach you at 941-2586, is that correct? The what? Nine, I did reach you at 941-2586. Wait, the what? Record. The record newspaper? Right. Huh? Right. Okay. And we're having a special for just 26 cents a week for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday special. And it's available for a limited time only. I did reach you at... Nine four one two five eight six. Is that correct? To what? The record? Good job. Oh. Yeah. And we're having a special Friday, Saturday, and Sunday rate for just 26 cents a week. Can you hear me? Mm. This is our best offer ever. It's available for a limited time. My name is Daniel. What's yours? The record? Yes. It's available for a limited time only. I did reach you at 941-2586. Is that correct? The what? The record. The record. Hello? Yeah. Yes, I'm calling from the record newspaper. Right. And we're having an offer for 26 cents a week. And this is our best offer ever, and it's for a limited time only. And I have reached you at... Nine four one two five eight six. Is that correct? The what? The record. Do you speak English? Yeah. You do? I did reach you at nine four one two five eight six. Is that correct? The what? The record. Sorry. Hi, sir. We're calling you today because we want you to try out the weekend service. Okay. I just want to make sure your number is nine four one two five eight six. Can I please talk to Daniel? 
Yes, you can talk to Daniel, but he can't understand what you're saying. That's why I took the phone. I'm a supervisor. I don't know why. You can hear me. I can. That's what I'm saying. I can hear you perfectly well. You want Daniel back? Yes. Okay, I'll give you Daniel back. Daniel will give you the paper, okay? Put Daniel oh, back no. on the phone. Um, we're having the weekend. We're having the weekend. What is your first name, sir? My name's Daniel, and you are? The record? Yes, sir. The record? Yes, sir. And my name's Daniel. What is yours? It's the record. Yes. My name is Daniel. And what is yours? The record. Yes. The what? The record. Yes, it's the record. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, it's the record. And they're having a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday special. For a low, low cost of 26 cents a week. Okay? Mm-hmm. My name is Daniel. What is your name? The record. Yes, sir. Yeah. My name is Daniel. What is your name, sir? What? What is it? The record? No. Oh, you don't receive it? No, not that. What is your name? Daniel. My name... My name is Daniel. Okay. What is your name? The record. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. My name is Daniel. What's yours? The record. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yes, that's right. Okay. And I did call 9412586, right, sir? The what? The record. The record? Right. I did reach 9412586, right, sir? The what? Record. The record? Right. Yes. The record is, is a newspaper. Right. I did reach you at 9412586, right, sir? The what? I did reach you at nine four one two five eight six. The what? The record. Right. This is our best offer ever. And it will be available for a limited time only. I reached you at nine four one two five eight six, correct sir? The what? Record. He's still on the line. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. What is that? Uh, this is Supervisor here with the record. Just want to make sure your information is correct. This is what we're doing. We're running a holiday promotion for your area. It's a new segment on our paper that we worked on in your area. We want you to preview our changes. I'd like to talk to Daniel, please. All right. How come he's not hearing me? You got to talk to me. I am. Hello? Hello. Yes, my name is Daniel. What's your name? The record. Yes. Yeah. My name is Daniel. What's your name? The record. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it's for a limited time only. Mm-hmm. And it's just 26 cents a week. 26 cents a day. And it's our best offer. And it's for a limited time. Mm-hmm. Now, if I can get... Now, can I have your... What's your name? My name is Daniel. The record. Yes. Yeah. Yes, my name is Daniel. What is your name? The what? Record. I'm talking as loud as I can. He just can't hear me. Hello? Yeah. I'm talking about the record. You know, I'm repeating myself and I talk as loud as I can, but it just seems like he's not hearing me. Hello? Yeah. Yes, my name is Daniel. Okay? Mm -hmm. My name is Daniel. And I'm trying to tell you about the best offer we're having. Now, to confirm it, I need your name and address to get it started. What is your name, sir? The record. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, what is your name, so I can, name and address so I can get it started? The what? The record. Right. And it's for 26 cents a day. And it's our best... Are you there, sir? Yeah. Okay, you want the paper or not? No.
afternoon, and this is Pam. Hi, Pam. Uh, I'm calling about the receptionist job. Um, are you sure you have the right number? Yeah. It's my fr- dad's friend that told told me to call that they were that I don't know they were getting rid of the receptionist or whatever, and I was just calling. Well, you know what? You could talk to Nancy if you'd like. Are you are you quitting or something? Um, no, I'm not. Um, no, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I was supposed to call, I guess, after hours, but I, I think I called too early. This is so awkward for me. I, uh, I hate to get in the middle of this. Um, well, I suggest that you call and talk to somebody who knows more, or else I can transfer you now, whichever you would like. Nancy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, maybe she'd be able to help you. Why don't you hold on just a minute? This is Nancy. May I help you? Hi, uh, I'm calling about the office administrative job. Um, is this the right number? Yeah. And a the office administrator job? Yeah. Uh, let me let you talk to Bruce. Uh, uh, who are you? Are you the office administrator? Uh-huh. Oh, what does uh, Bruce do? He's the managing partner. Oh, man, because my dad's, that's who my dad's friends would. He recommended a job. He said that they were getting rid of the office administrator or something, and... Is this I'll have to na- ask him just a second. No, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, That's okay. Maybe I Quite should. Quite right. I, 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 hold on. Miss, hold I, on. I didn't want to break the news to you. Uh, I guess, yeah, let me talk to... Bruce. Yeah, so sorry. This is Bruce. Can I help you? Hi, I was calling about the managing partner job. Really? You're looking for... Who, who am I speaking with here? Oh, this is Bobby Fletcher. Well, you're, what are you responding to, Bob? We're not looking for a managing partner. Are you the managing partner? Yeah, I am. Oof. My dad's friend told me to call. I guess they were, uh, he's friends with Mr. and I guess they were looking for a new managing partner, but are you quitting by any chance? Nope. Oof. And who's your dad? Mr. Fletcher. They can get rid of me if they want. They can do my job. No, I... Not a problem. No, I... Apparently, I guess you guys are all getting fired and I'm taking over. Now, I got better things to do, bud. This, you know, the, you have to take a hike. We'll see you later. Bye. Firm? Can I speak to Jesse? Yeah, this is him, sweetie. Okay, would you please not call me sweetie either, sir? Sorry, Touch. Man, sir, would you please not talk to me like that? Calling about your bill to collections. It's uh, for a balance of $31.43. How much was that again, pumpkin lips? $31.43. What is it for, though? Uh, I don't know. I didn't order it. I'm not sure what it is either, Buttercup. Please don't talk to me like that, sir. I don't know what it is, though. I would just pay the bill and get it over with. It's only $31.43. That's still a lot of money if you think about it, Sweet Cheeks. Hello? I asked you, sir, not to talk to me like that. Like what? With those Sweet Cheeks and all that stuff. Uh Uh-uh, I don't go for that. No problem, color cakes. Hold on. Hello? James. Yeah. I'm calling on behalf of your visa card. Yeah. We we needed the account number for the First Union Bank, sir. Not your telephone number. What are you talking about, my telephone number? Okay, James, the last four digits, sir, of your social security number. What what do you... I don't understand the whole thing with the... The bank number and all that. What we need your checking account number for the First Union Bank, sir, so we know that you're the authorized user to receive your money. What checking account? What are you talking about? Hold on a second. You know what? My roommate's here. He could probably understand you better. Your roommate? Hello? What, what is this? What's what? what? Joke? No. Who is this? Steve. Steve? I need to speak to James. That's Steve. He asked me to help him. He's not uh, understanding what you're saying. He's not all sane, is he? He's not all there. He's not playing with a full deck. No, he's fine. All I asked for him, sir, was for the checking account number for the First Union Bank. What does the account number have to do with the address, though? That's what I don't understand. Well, you're another stupid guy, aren't you? No. Yeah, you are. You know what? We need the account number to debit the 296 from your checking account. Why are you debiting money? That's your security deposit, sir, because your credit's terrible. It's not my card. I know it's not your card, so why am I talking to you, then? Well, that's what you said. You said I'm getting a debit of $296. Yo, put fucking James on the phone now before I snap. All right, hold on one second. What am I, dealing with two clowns? Hello? James? Yeah. 
What is this, man? Some kind of a joke? It, it's not some kind of a joke. You weren't on the, you weren't making sense before, so I figured I'd put my roommate on so maybe he can understand what you're talking about. No, sir, we just need the last four digits. I know, but then you mentioned the first union before. Yeah, I mean... I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my God. You're retarded. No, I'm not retarded. You're retarded. I'm going to come there with a shot-off shotgun and blow your head off. Yeah, why don't you do that? Why don't you fucking give me your account number before I break your face? Why don't you go fuck yourself? Why don't you go and suck your roommate's dick? Why don't you... Because you already sucked it last week. Oh, yeah, did you? How about I fuck your mother? Okay, you already did. Next time wear a condom. Yeah, next time wear a condom because she came out, the kid came out retarded. Take his dick out of your ass and maybe you'll start understanding things that don't work. No, you don't make no sense. You call up and you don't even know what you're talking about. That's you're that's stupid. Yeah, you're ignorant. Now, you're is, stupid. You're a fag. What's the difference? Huh? Okay, yeah, I'm a fag, but you're stupid. You sound like one, too. It's so obvious. You guys are just with the art all fags inbred. Yeah, they are. So Why don't you make some sense? You're trying to sell something on the phone. You don't even know what you're what talking about. You, because you're going to dick in your mouth, you fucking homo. Fag. Yeah. Why don't you tell, tell us what you're talking about, dummy? Okay, dummy. Why don't you make some sense? What's so hard to understand? Because you? you're not making any sense. You tell me about social security numbers and an address and a debit. You know what? It, Talk to my roommate. Now I gotta talk to your roommate. What happened? You know what? You don't even have a roommate. I think you have multiple personalities. No, it's. You just sound like the same guy, only with a squealing, girly little voice. This is, this is the voice I was born with, sir. You were born with that voice? I feel bad for you. All right, hold on one second. Hello? You're a fucking piece of shit. You know what? You're a fucking bag. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm not giving you nothing. Okay, prick? Yeah. Bitch. Hello? James. No, Steve. Steve. Who's this? It's, uh, it's the guy that just called your partner a flaming faggot. Oh, you did? Yeah. I Why? Because he is a flaming faggot. No, he's not. Why is his dick in your ass for us? <laughs> Dude, you, is this how you talk at your job? Yeah, pretty much, because you know what, you guys are playing a game with me. It's simple. I asked for a checking account number, and you guys are giving me the runaround that don't appreciate it. I don't know his checking account number. How am I going to give you something I don't know? Put him on the phone right now. He's, he's brushing his teeth. He's brushing his teeth? Why? Is he brushing all the cum from his teeth? I don't know. You guys call, and we don't, we're trying to get a grasp on what this is, and it's simple. you're not explaining it. I did explain it. I need the checking account number to debit your account, $296. But that's what we're not understanding, the debit part. I don't like you anymore. Hello? Hi, good afternoon. Can I speak with Jimmy, please? Jimmy? Yeah, uh, let me transfer you. Thank you. Reception? Hi, Jimmy. No, this is reception. Who are you looking for? Uh, Jimmy Latchman. Oh, yeah. Can you hold on one second? Yes, I can. Hold on. Hello? Can I speak with Jimmy Latchman, please? Sure. Hold on one second. Reception? Hello. I keep getting transferred to people instantaneously, but it's not Jimmy Latchman. It might have bounced back. Hold on. Hello? Hi. Can I speak with Jimmy Latchman, please? Uh, sure. Let me transfer you. Hold on one second. Reception? This is calling for Jimmy Latchman. Um, let me try this other extension. Hold on. Okay. Hello? Hi, I, I, somehow I keep getting transferred in this round-robin process. I was looking for Jimmy Latchman. I, I think I've talked to three individuals at your company. Okay, Jimmy Latchman, yeah, okay, hold on, I'll transfer you. Thank you. Okay. Reception? Hi, there's something very strange going on. What seems to be the problem? Oh, uh, well, they keep transferring me um, to several different places. Does Jimmy have an extension that I can call directly? Uh, no, it all goes through the, the board here. It's all on computer. Let me put you through again. Hold on. Okay. Hello? Jimmy Latchman, please. Yeah. Did I just speak with you? Yeah, I think I've already hit you like two or three times, and I've also hit another gentleman at reception, and a woman has actually answered and said, hold. And everybody is very much polite, and they say, hold on, let me transfer you, and then the next person in the cycle immediately picks up. I know what extension is. I have it right here. Okay. I can transfer you. Reception. Okay. This is again. I'm in this cycle for some reason. I keep hitting um, two of your other colleagues. And uh, they say, who are you looking for? I say, Jimmy Lashman. They say, great, I'm going to transfer you. And I go to the next person in the cycle. And it's, I, think it's, I think we're on cycle number four. You know what? Let me put you through his assistance line. His assistant's name is Steve. Hold on. Okay. Thank you. Hello? Again, I'm, I think I'm on lap number four of this cycle. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, it's kind of confusing. 
Uh, the last gentleman decided that they weren't going to transfer me to Jimmy. They were going to try to transfer me to, to Steve, and it hasn't broke me out of this cycle yet. Okay, I'll transfer you to Steve. Hold on. Thank you. Hello? It's me again, looking for Jimmy Latchman. I'm on cycle number five or six at this point. You know what? I'm just going to hang up, and I will send you... You need Jimmy, right? I, I see him right in his office right here, so... Let's try it. Thank okay. You. Reception. I knew that was going to happen. I'm back at you. How are you doing? Um, Didn't I transfer you to Steve? No, it keeps... It, it's not breaking out of this cycle. Okay, well, um, you know what, give me two seconds. I'm going to actually walk into his office and tell him he has a call. Hold on. Okay, thanks. Hello? Hi. There's some weird cookie loop going on somewhere in this system. So now I'm talking to you. I think it's like the fifth or sixth time? Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Um, I'll transfer you to Steve. Yeah, and he'll get Jimmy. Hold on. Okay. Hello, this is Steve. Steve, hi. Um, my name is I was trying to reach Jimmy Latchman, and I've been in some cookie transferring cycle for about, um, probably about six loops. Okay, uh, I'll catch you in the office. Hold on. Thank you. Hello? Okay, Steve said he's going to transfer me to Jimmy, and now I'm back in this loop again. Okay, I'll transfer you to Steve then. Hold on. Thank you. Perception. Hi. Um, I'm still in this loop. Okay, um, I, did, I apologize, I don't... He got me to Steve, then he said, okay, I'm going to transfer you to Jimmy, and then I got kicked back out to the other gentleman that was in the original loop. And Who's he, that gentleman? Oh, he didn't give me a name. If it happens again, get a name, because maybe they switched extensions, I'm not sure. I'm going to transfer you, I'm going to find out what the heck's going on. Hold on. Hello? Wait a minute. We're, I think I'm in the same cookie loop, and the last guy at reception told me to get your name so we can figure out what's going on. So, what was your name? Artie. Artie, okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Art. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Steve. Steve, hi. When you tried to transfer to Jimmy, it kicked to reception. When he tried to transfer me back to you, it kicked to Artie. Now, when Artie tried to transfer me to Jimmy, it kicked me back to you. Okay, hold for Artie. Oh, wait. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. It's again, and I've been around the world. I've actually talked to Artie. Got some names, um, and the guy at reception asked me to get everybody's name that's in this loop so we can get it fixed. Okay. Um, what was your name? Stacy. Stacy, I'm really just trying to get to Jimmy Latchman. So sure. Can try the transfer. We'll see what happens. Okay. Thank you. I'll transfer to Jimmy. Reception. It's me again. Is this Mary? No, this is <laughs> for Jimmy Latchman. I've talked to Artie. I've talked to Steve. I've talked to uh, Stacy. Um, but never have resulted in, in a transfer to Jimmy Lashman in the last 10 minutes. I don't understand what's going on. I don't either. Let me try Steve again. Hello? Artie? Yeah, Artie, yeah. Did you talk to Jimmy yet? Um, no. I've never reached Jimmy in the last 10 minutes. I, I've talked to you guys like several times each. I think we're, you know, for some of the people in the loop, it's like, I think I've been transferred up to seven times. You guys have transferred me to Steve. Now Steve's in the loop, and I've bounced to three, three times to Steve. And every time Steve tries to transfer me to Jimmy, I end up with you, reception, or Stacy. Okay, I'll transfer to Stacy. Hold on. Reception. Can, can, can anybody write down just a small note and follow it up and throw it in his office or just slide it under his door that I'm trying to get in touch with him? Give me the last name again. I'm sorry. Latchman. L-A-C-H-M-A-N. Oh, he doesn't work here anymore. You're joking. No. You're joking. They said they were looking at him. But no, he got fired about a year ago. But they still see him. What's that? But the other individual said that they see him. He's right here, I see him. Hello, transfer you. Hello? Hello, Artie? Yeah. Reception just told me that Jimmy Latchman, he was fired a year ago? Jimmy my mom was fired a year ago. Maybe he meant him. Okay, I still haven't made it to Jimmy Latchman. And oh, okay. The of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. Expecting different results, so I'm just going to stop this roller coaster. And I, you know, I, I can get you to Jimmy. I don't know what the problem is. You haven't talked to Jimmy. No, it's in this loop. Something is happening where you guys transfer me, and it kicks to Stacy, or it kicks to reception, or it kicks back to you, Artie. It's just, it's, it's maddening. I don't know what's going on. There's an anomaly happening. He's here. And that's what everybody keeps telling me. They said, I see him, he's in his office, he's right there, let me transfer you, and it's not, it's 
not going to his office. Okay, let me train. I, I'm sure we can get through right here. Okay, hold on. Hi, this is Steve. Steve, hi. I've been around the world and back again, but never made it to Jimmy. Okay, I figured out what the problem was. I'm going to put you on hold, then Jimmy's going to come out and pick up the phone. Okay. That to make it easier for everybody. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Hold on. Hello? Hi, Jimmy Latchman? Yeah. Jimmy, this is from a college. I have actually been on the phone 15 minutes with your lovely reception team. Sorry, I'm not interested. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Yeah, I'm calling you from Products. Uh, are you having any kind of problems there with your septic tank, sir? You know, between me and my other two roommates, we go to the bathroom a lot. Mm -hmm. More than, than, you know, ordinary people, so I know, you know, we clog up the toilet a lot. Because um, we take a lot of dumps. It's the price. But you got to see the size of these logs, though. And the toilet, you know, a lot of times it won't even flush. Okay. So all the logs are sticking out of the water. It's disgusting. Yeah. Right, I can understand, I can picture that. You ever get one that gets out of the water? Yeah. Yeah, you look like you're waiting for a frog to, like, <laughs> jump into the water off of it. Do you notice any odors coming in from the outside? Um, they, most of the odors are just coming from the bathroom. Just from the bathroom. Is it coming from the trains? No, it's coming from the toilet, from the logs. From the toilet. That's just an odor that just gets created there momentarily. No, no, it's there for a while. I mean, some of my dumps really linger. Just out of curiosity, you're throwing your toilet paper down the commode? Usually you have to throw it in another bag because okay. there's so much That's crap in the toilet. Okay. Trust me, those orders that you're noticing, are not really, they're lingering, they're coming in from the trains, okay? Believe me, some of it doesn't even go down the toilet, well, you know? Let me ask you a question. Sometimes you got to chop the turds up with a shovel. Yeah, I can so understand that. So, it's not I... just, it's coming from the turds in the toilet. Okay. But have you ever used this, these products before? No. It's but how are we going to get it in the toilet with all the... Flush it. But the turds are going to be in the way. Oh, for, well, don't flush it when there's turds in the way, okay? Well, it always is, though. That's the problem. It's the price. Yesterday, um, I couldn't even go in the regular toilet. I had to take an upper decker. Okay. You know, I had to take the, you know, the top of the, the tank, that part. I took the top off, and I had to take an upper decker in there because there was no room yeah, down well, below. Is that still there in the upper decker? Probably. I don't know. I just put the lid back on. I haven't looked. Listen. If you want to put your life back to a normalcy in that house, okay, you want to try this product. How, we, how is it going to chop up the turds, though? It liquefies it. you got to get those turds out of the way. I'm not touching them. Okay. Most of them aren't even mine. Um, I mean, I could pick the ones out of the mine, but mine usually the ones with corn in them. So I eat a lot of corn. Yeah. The most important thing is you got to get this stuff flushed down in there, okay? Otherwise, it's never going to clean up. Okay, how do you suggest I get them out of the way? With a shovel. Just what? get it up, pick it up with your hands, put a glove on, whatever. Just okay, but how, where do I put them if I use my hand or a shovel? Forget about the turds. Just pick them up and throw them away. Bury it. Whatever. What do you care? Would you pick up turds? I, listen, I never had to pick up anybody else's turds before. Okay, okay I mean, but so it's not that easy to I say, just go pick up the turds, but they're not, most of them are mine. Listen carefully. This product right here is going to guarantee to dissolve those turds that are floaters, okay? Your girlfriend will, love, will, will enjoy life a whole lot better when she comes to visit, all right? I, it's, I know, it's embarrassing. i got to send her to the gas and station to go to the bathroom. Those turds don't belong to you. You want me to just pick them up my hand, or do you want me to take them out? Hand, put a little rubber glove on it. You want me to, like, hold them up like I caught a fish, too, when I'm done? Yeah, what, whatever. Just get them out of the way, Mr. Price. The whole thing is that you got to put this down the drain, okay? That's it. You know how Listen, after 30 days, if you see your toilet is flushing completely through, even with the size and the amount of turds you got in there, okay? If you got rid of the stink, okay? If you're starting to live a little better. I'm not touching anybody else's turds. Okay, I'm not asking you to touch anybody else's turds. Yes, you are, because I told you this. All three of ours are in there. Then talk to your roommate. They, they, they already said they're not touching it. They don't care. They just keep doing it right on top of the other ones. Don't touch their turds. All right, let me tell you something, Mr. Mr. Price. Mine, the ones that have the corn in them are underneath there. So how do I get corn. to mine? Forget the corn. Listen. No, but how do I get to my turds? I don't know whose turds belong to who. I know which ones do. How about so, I call you next week after you get the turds and the corn out of the way? No, but the, the problem is mine are underneath. I have to move theirs to get to mine. Okay. Listen. So, well, well, so what, how, how am I supposed to move them? Move them with your little hand. Come on. What do you mean my little hand? Uh, both hands are the same size. Let me tell you something. I have a special on a pooper scooper. I'm going to call you back on that price right now. Okay, hold on. Hi, Mr. Florentine. Yeah? We're a furniture dealer. We do office furniture. 
and uh, any other types of furniture for basically any market. And I'm just calling to see if you'd be interested in anything for now or the future, or just to be able to get a meeting with you and uh, so I can explain things to you. Well, where do you want to meet? I can meet whatever or wherever you want. Um, I noticed a motel near me, by me. Maybe we can meet there. Okay. Now, it would be best to meet in, in your offices, uh, but if you want to do an environment um, in a motel and you can explain to me better, uh, that's fine as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think we should meet at the motel first. Let me see what you look like and everything, and then sure, we'll sure. just go from there. All right. And what do you look like? What do I look like? Yeah. Uh, I have brown, uh, black hair, uh, about 6'1", and uh, uh, brown eyes. Are you in shape? Yeah, I'm in shape. I, I play squash. Uh, I uh, work out as much as I can. Really? Yes. Okay. See, it's, uh, I, I enjoy. I, I uh, respect my body and, uh, and the soul. Okay. Uh, that sounds good. All right. Well, when do you want to meet? Um, I could do next week. What would you be wearing? Just, you know. I probably will have a jacket and tie. Could you wear something a little more casual? Could I wear something more casual? Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, you know, like jeans, you know, some tight jeans and a shirt or something. Tight jeans or shirt? What's going on? Is this a joke? No, I'm just saying, you know, just be more comfortable and casual. I don't like, you know, dealing with people that, you know, got suits on and stuff. And well, that's, to me. that's how I adjust to work. Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, you're not going to be at work. Right, right. Okay. You know, I don't think there's a problem with that. What about my associate, he'll be coming as well. I don't know if I can direct him in the, in the situation where he can dress differently. Oh, you're bringing him too? I thought you would just come by yourself. No, 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 we travel as a team. Oh, man. Well, what does he look like? Well, I don't understand the, the, the whole physical appearance part. Well, just so I know, you know? Right, right. Well, where's your company located? Why? Don't you have it right in front of you? Well, because I get a little uh, worried when someone starts asking me to wear tight jeans to uh, a motel in New Jersey. I don't know what the problem is. Well, the problem is I don't really get that too much. Does it make a difference? Yes, it does. Uh, I don't feel that that's an appropriate... <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I don't have to explain that, really. All right, forget the tights. You just wear, like, a tight shirt, then that's fine. Uh, that's all right. I don't wear tight clothing anyways. Well, you said you're proud of your body. That doesn't necessarily mean I have to flaunt it. Just for me? Anyways, it's 14. Should I bring a condom? What about 1 o'clock Monday? All righty. I'll wear a G-string. I'll talk to you later. But whatever you want, I'll wear. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, I spoke with you last week regarding, uh, there was an appointment that was set, you know, uh, <laughs> for tomorrow. Hello? Yeah. <clears throat> Who's this? Fmon. I'm sorry? Yeah, it's Fmon. Fmon? Yeah. Okay, uh, we had an appointment set <clears throat> for tomorrow. Yeah. Burp my ear again, pal. I don't appreciate that. Mm hmm. So, um, so is it still on? Not if you're gonna act this way. That's not professional. I'm here to try. <clears throat> Got a problem? Well, because we can solve it other ways, pal. How? Want to find out? Yeah. All right, you're a one. <clears throat> A 170 Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How about we do have that appointment set for tomorrow, pal? Okay. All right, good. Be there. <laughs> yeah, what can I do for you? Okay, is this Jesse? Yeah, I'm in the middle of taking a dump. Oh, <laughs> okay. <sighs> well, I was giving you a call from the singles organization. Right. And I was calling you in response to the singles profile form that you filled out. Oh, right. Is there a better time I can get back with you? No, no, this is probably the best time. Yeah, well, <laughs> I just don't feel comfortable talking to you at this moment. Uh, why? Because, like you said, you're right in the middle of something. That's fine. I'm just, it's no big deal. I'm just taking a dump, you know? Yeah, and I'm... You know, I take, two or, I take two or three a day. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I'm just not comfortable uh, with uh, talking to you when, when you're doing that. No, it's fine. I, you know, I'm, I'm been looking forward to you guys actually calling. No, really. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just feel more comfortable if I can give you a nah. call back. Nah, don't worry about it. 
No, really. Uh, uh, just for myself, I would feel more comfortable if we could get a call back at another time, okay? What? Why is that? I mean... I'm just not comfortable with being on the phone when you're in the bathroom. Uh, would it be better if I was in the kitchen? It'd just be better if it, if it, it was. It's uncomfortable for me, so I'll just I'll just have. Well, I mean, look, I I mean, I want to. I'm going to be going away, to, uh, you know, at like nine o'clock tonight for a while. So it's like I'd like to get this done. Maybe get in there, set up. I guess I don't know if you guys do an interview or something, whatever. Let me get someone that might be a little bit more comfortable with talking to you. Then I used okay? to miss. You seemed like you're very uptight. I mean, people take dumps. You know, I'm sure I you take like. That, I'm sure you take like one or two a day too. It's not a big deal. Yes, I realize that, but I just don't feel comfortable. It's, it's just a matter of respect. I don't feel comfortable talking to you while you're using the restroom. And I apologize, but no, I mean, it's just like I can get someone else on the it's phone. A, it's a natural thing, you know. Yeah, it's, well, I'm going to go now, uh, so and like I said, I can have someone else call you back, or, you know, we can just go ahead and disregard your file, okay? Uh, are you going to disregard my file because, um... Well, you're not, you're not understanding uh, that I don't feel comfortable, and I was trying to get someone else to talk to you. And if that's going to be an issue, then yes, I'm going to disregard your file. Well, I mean, you know, if you want to lose an account because, you know, i got to take a crap, I don't get it. Yeah, and, and like I said, I mean, it's not, it, to me, it's not very respectful. Oh, oh well, I, so, you yeah. know, it's the time of day where I, oh, I take it at this time every day. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just going to get off the phone now, Jesse. Oh. Okay, you have a nice day. Oh. Bye-bye. some stuff down here for me. Okay. Um, you're looking to, for a long-term relationship? Are you looking for a long-term relationship? Is long-term one word or two? No, one it's, word. it's one word. Mm-hmm. Long-term what? Relationship. Relationship. No, it's I-T. No, it's not. Yes, yeah. it is. No, it's not Y. It's not Y. It's R-E-L-A-I-O-T. T-I-O-N. T-I-O-N. Don't tell me how to spell Sorry. You're going to write down everything I say? Are you going to write down everything I say? You... No, no, you write her stuff down, not all my stuff. I don't know what stuff is hers. Can I speak to him for one second? Yeah, hold on, she wants to talk to you. Here, take the phone. Hold on. No. She wants... Yeah, hold on. Hello? Hello? Yo. Okay, this is very odd for me right now. I'm not understanding what's going on. Why is everything to be written? Oh, wait, hold on a second. She doesn't understand why we'll have to write everything down. Doesn't. Not half. Have. That's how I write the No, it's a V. No, it's not. It's not half. It's not like it's a half. It's not a half. It's a half. It's a half. Can you hold okay. on a second? Can you hold on a second? Hello? I'm finished writing that. Can you hold on? Wait, yes. Excuse me. No, we're on hold. No, don't write that. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Um, Hi, Jack. Um, I'm a terrorist. Okay, um, may I ask why you have to write everything down? <sighs> He's already wrote that down, miss. May what? Hi, Jack. Yes. Hi, Hi Jack. this is... I'm the call center director. Hi, this is... Wait, oh, wait, he doesn't have to write that down. You have to listen. Service. Don't write. Listen. Miss, wait, wait. I-G-H? It's no, it's an L-E. There's a call center, what, what are you? Jack. Call center. He That's does it. not have to write that down. You need to listen. He does not have to write that down. He does not. Do you understand? You need to, need to listen. Right. I can't go that fast. Miss, can you guys just ask the questions? Because you guys are throwing us all this stuff in and he has to write it down. Why does he have to write it down? Why does he have to write it down? Why... No, answer, please. Don't repeat it. Don't write it down. Answer. Why do you have to write no, everything down? No, answer, please. He has to... Why? What? What? Why does he have to write everything down? Why does he have to write everything down? Miss, you're saying the same thing home. Now he's got to write it again. Because I want an answer. You're going too fast. Can you hold on? Because I want an answer. Answer the question. Yes, answer the question, please. Why do we have to write everything down? I wrote that. I have to write it again. He said it again. He said it again. Right. I told you to write everything down. Right. I tell them not to, but they keep repeating the questions. It's not my fault. Why it's their fault. Well, because down. I'm looking for an answer. Because I'm looking for an answer. To the question that I'm asking. To the question I'm asking. Does that make sense? Can I just add that onto this? No, one? you can't. I told you to write everything down, but they keep repeating themselves. Because I want... No, wait, wait. You said something before, because I want to answer... Because I was wanting an answer to those questions I'm asking. Okay. Because I want to answer to the questions... Question. That I was asking. Okay, well write this down. You are not qualified for the service. How do you spell qualified? Is that Q or is it K? No, it's not a K. Yes, it is. K W. It's not a K. For the service, what? Qualif- what was that after that?
Hello? This is Ms. Andrews. I'm calling about a past due payment of one twelve seventy nine. It's on the Fishing for Refreshment Coca-Cola porcelain box and a pocket lodge. Um, could you hold on? Let me see if I have it. Sure. Yeah, I don't see any, anything. Okay, but you but do order from the front, right? I don't know. The only thing I see is um, a bag of Doritos. Okay, why would that pertain to what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. Did you, do you have a son or somebody who maybe ordered this? Um, hold on, let me go check. Okay. Um, no, I don't, I don't have a son. You had to check and see if you had a son? Okay, obviously you are playing some kind of game. What do you mean playing games? Okay, you went and checked to see if you had a son. Yeah. Okay, most people know that. Like, if you asked me if I had a child, I could tell you right off the bat. Well, maybe you could, but maybe I can't. Maybe you're smarter than me. I'm sorry. It has nothing to do with who's smarter than who. That is just playing games, and you know that. I know that. So, uh, uh, if you can answer, I'm sorry that you can answer a question that I can't answer. Forgive whether me. whether I have children or Forgive not? Forgive me. I, 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 I didn't even ask you that question. No, I you know, What if I asked you? Okay, do you have any kids? No, I don't. Okay, well, you came back, you got back to me quicker than I got back to you. Yeah, I didn't have to go look for them. So, what is the problem? The problem is you are playing games. I'm asking you if you have the merchandise, and you're telling me that you have Doritos. I mean... Yeah, so, I, yeah, I'm saying I do. Uh, yeah, I have that, so... Do you think that makes sense? If you called my at my house and said... Uh, do you have a pocket watch? And I said, I have Doritos. That would make sense to you? Well, I would say, that's good that you have Doritos. Okay. But they have the pocket watch. So all I'm saying is, I'm not going to argue with you. You don't want I don't to think we're it. arguing. Send it I don't think we're arguing. What I'm saying you got mad because I said I have a bag of Doritos. That's no, what this I'm, whole problem first, is. First of all, I'm not mad at all. Oh, okay. you sound like you're pretty mad. No, I'm not if, mad. If you were my girlfriend, I would consider you mad at the tone of your voice right now. I'm sending it to the fraud department because I think you're playing games. Mr. James? Yeah. Uh, my name is and I appreciate you taking this little time out with me, not to take too much of your time. But my question is, sir, uh, I'm a marketing rep for New We manufacture outgoing postal and shipping equipment. And my question to you, sir, are you currently leasing or do you own your postal equipment? Yeah, because yeah, my brother just got back from Florida. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time, so I'm just trying to help you see what my company would like to possibly help you save some money. But this is made a more competitive bid to give you some better price comparison for your next lease renewal. Yeah, I don't know, you know, because my grandma was telling me not to go, so I wasn't sure. Mm. So would you like us to uh, do that with you, sir? Yeah, because I'm, you know, my mom said that she didn't know if it was going to have people over for Easter or not, so I'm just waiting on that, I guess. Okay. Uh, you know who I am, right, sir? I'm outside your outgoing postal equipment. So I was questioning, do you, are you interested in postal equipment? Yeah, because my brother just got back from the, um, the food store. I didn't get the, the meat that I wanted, though. I was pissed. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. So how much postal per month do you normally spend? Yeah, I'm probably going to get an oil change later. I'm not sure, you know. Yeah, so are you talking to me? Hello? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You, did you hear what I said, sir? My question I asked you? Did you hear what I said? Did you say your brother's have the oil change? Yeah, he needs. Yeah, he's got to get his oil change. Okay. I'm trying to understand. I'm talking about postal meter, sir. Yeah, I was thinking about getting a cat, actually. Getting a cat? Yeah. Okay. So if I cut you, call you a bad time, would like me to call you back another time? Ours is fine. Okay, it's like I'm, um, it's like I'm taking you away for something. No. Okay, because I'm talking about postal meter equipment. You're talking about cat and food and stuff. What's so, the problem? No, there's no problem, sir. I was just like, uh, would you like to have one of my sales representatives contact you? Yeah, because I had to bring the rental car back tomorrow. Okay. So would you like to have him call you? About the rental car? No, my postal service. I guess tomorrow i got to get tickets for the Ozfest. Okay, so i have him call you tomorrow, okay, sir? I didn't know so. if I had to go food shopping or not. Okay, it's okay, sir. i have him call you back, okay? You have well, a nice day. I don't know if the store is going to be closed. It'd be all right, sir. You have a nice day. No, but what, I mean, what if it's closed? Then where do I have to go? Oh, I don't know, sir. 
Okay, but it's like you on to another subject about something else, sir, about you going to the store. I don't know anything about you going to the store, sir. I don't know how my, my business correlates with what you got to do if you going to the store with your brother or you taking the car back. You rent, sir. I'm trying to understand. I'm totally confused about what it is that you ask him of me. Sir, you have a nice day. I got to change your... Hello? Hi, is Jules there? Um, is this in reference to the kitty porn charges? No, no, no. Were you expecting some other phone calls from another service or something? I mean, I'm, a lot of people call about oh. these charges. About charges? Oh, were you convicted of any crime or anything? I'm about to be. You're about to be? Yeah. Really? Okay. I would say so, yeah. Really? Something really bad? Yeah. What's happening? Well, you know, kitty porn charges are pretty serious. What kind of charges? Kitty porn. Oh, okay. Well, you know what, Jules? We'll definitely contact you in a month or so, okay? And we'll explain everything to you in a month, okay? Why not now, no? Well, basically... I'd still like to meet somebody, you know. Well, you have other things going on. That's okay. I mean, I could use some good news. Okay. Let me see. You are 25 years old. Yeah. And you're currently single, and you're available to date. Mm -hmm. You're looking for somebody who's caring, someone who's affectionate, somebody who's understanding. Someone that's young, too. Somebody who's... How young? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Twelve to fifteen or something. Okay. Well, just so you know, the females here start at age 18. So we're going to have to contact you at another time, okay? We can't do this now, though. No? no, we can't. Yeah, we're extremely busy right now. We're going to have to call you back at a later time, okay? You don't have anyone that's like 14 or 15? No, we don't. No. We started at 18. Mm. Okay? How about um, any males, 12 to 15? No, we're strictly heterosexual. Oh. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Do you have any little brothers? No. Goodbye. Good evening, alternatives. Hi, I'm calling about the ad in the paper, the Alternative Counseling Center job. Uh, could you give me your name and telephone number and someone get back to you? I'm the receptionist. This is Bobby Fletcher. Hold on, honey. Say your last name. F-L-E-T-C-H-E-R. F-L... Wait a minute. Okay, Fletcher, your telephone am, number? Are you retarded? Uh, it's... Am I retarded? I'm sorry? Did you say am I retarded? No, no, no. No. What would you say, telephone number? Yes. Okay. Uh, mm hmm Six... Six oh nine oh. Okay. Okay, now, so what is... This is for the part-time council, right? Has it been filled yet? I don't think so. Talk on the phone, you slob. Pardon me? Um, it hasn't been filled yet? No, I don't think so. I didn't hear nobody say that it was filled. Okay, now this is a part-time part -time drug educator, too, for these kids that are messed up on drugs? Right. Right, okay. Um, so I talked to... Could you hold one second? My roommate just came in the room. Just one second? Sure. Do you get the weed? Okay, cool. We'll smoke a bowl in a minute. Okay. Uh, hello? Yes? Okay, sorry about that. So what do you do, basically? Just answer the phones? Yes. Yeah, because it seems like you're not that well educated. Who? Um, what you mean that I'm not that well educated? No, no, I didn't mean it like Excuse that. Excuse me, miss. I didn't listen. Mean oh no, you're not going to talk to me like that miss. because I will relate this message to Linda, and you will not be coming in here. You will not be talking to me. Have a nice day, miss. I was. I didn't mean it that way. Good evening, alternative. Hi, Gloria, it's Bobby Fletcher again. You, I didn't give me the phone number to call or any information before you hung up. Listen, you were very rude to me, and miss, that's not nice. Miss, I wasn't that, rude. I'm, yes, you were. You burped in my ear. I, and miss, you, you told me that I wasn't that smart. No, I didn't say that. Listen, I was talking to my roommate. He just no, came, you wasn't. He came in with a, 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 a nickel bag full of pot, and he paid $50 for it. He knows it's only $30. That's why I was calling him stupid. I wasn't talking to you, but would you, would, you, would you pay fifty dollars for a nickel bag of pot? I wouldn't pay five cents for a bag of pot. Well, I wouldn't pay nothing for it because I don't do it. Okay, if I that's understand. the thing that you're doing. You don't need to be here. No, well, no, you just no, because I got to relax. I'm going to talk to these punks. I need to be a little under the influence. I'm just going to smoke a you joint real quick. You won't get hired here, B. We don't hire nobody that does. Drugs. No, they're not going to even know. Believe me, I, I got Visine. Oh, you know well, what I mean? Oh, you talking to me? You're talking to me. You're talking to somebody that that do know. No, that's... Uh, hold on one second. 
That's way too much pop. We can't sell all, all that to the kids. That's, oh, man. Oh, you Gloria. Won't, oh, you won't get in here because I see Linda before you Glo- will. I understand, Gloria. Just give me a second to th- talk to you for a second. All right, we sell pot to kids. I can't then, help it. No, but this is what I'm we sorry. do. And then we you get these wouldn't... counselor jobs because these kids get hooked on pot. That's how we make our money. <laughs> we, we make money off them from the pot, and then they have to go to counsel, and we make more money. No. All right, that's what no. we do. You talk to Gloria, the wrong do you know, sister. I, Gloria. You don't scare me. Huh? You don't scare me. I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm just oh, saying. Yes, I'm... you are trying to. You do <laughs> But listen at you. That is so bad. That is so ridiculous. Miss. That is so sad. Please Gloria. do not call her with that attitude no Gloria. more. Gloria, Gloria, you sound really pretty. That is so rude. You know that what? is so rude. Gloria, you love it. You know you do. Please do not talk to me. Gloria, I'm just trying to get this job. Yes, Mr. Florentine? Yeah. Sir, my name is Pamela. I'm calling on behalf of Communications. Okay. What I'm offering you today, sir, is a low rate of nine cents a minute on your state-to-state long distance calls. And every 90 days that you're with us, then we reduce that by half a penny until you reach the flat rate of five cents a minute. So you reduce that. Well, let's see. If you reduce that by half a penny, so then after a few months, it'd be. How would I pay that though if it came out to like 27 and a half cents? Like, how would I pay that if I was going to mail you guys something? You know, so I don't know. I don't have anything to do with that part of it. I know, but like, say, like my bill came out to, you know. One hundred one dollars and a half a cent. Well, you know what I'd do if it was me, sir. I'd wait till that. I'd just forget that half a penny till the next month when it comes up. Yeah, but I don't want to have a late charge. Oh, I don't think that would be a problem. Would I have to uh, maybe cut the penny in half? <laughs> okay, because yeah, because that's what we used to do when we were younger. We used to go down by the railroad tracks and we'd put pennies on the on the railroads and uh, you know have them flatten them and stuff. Uh-huh. So one time, uh, my brother didn't get his finger away and he cut his finger off oh man that's, that'd be bad now wouldn't it yeah that was bad so we wound up you know and we were playing games with him so we wound up just picking his finger up and we threw it in a lake because he was like crying give me my finger so we just threw it in the lake <laughs> all right sir now sir, and a turtle ate it sir are you usually the one who makes the decisions regarding the long distance um well uh you know i i make decisions like the other day, I decided I'm going to take my car down to Georgia. I wasn't sure. So I make some decisions, yeah. Okay, now, sir, what I need to, uh, to tell you about now, we're also offering a home 800 number. Now, what this is, sir, is uh, the, it's your own personal 800 number. A, what, an eight, a personal 800? Is that, that's for uh, those 800 numbers. Those are those things where they make the dirty calls on. <laughs> But not, I hope yours wouldn't be like it, sir. No, but isn't that the 800 numbers? Yeah. Okay, now. Yeah. That's not the, no, I just want to make sure because I don't want that. You know, because when I was living with my mom, someone was making a lot of calls there. Okay. okay. And only me and my mom lived there, and she, you know, was blaming it on me, and I blamed it on her. <laughs> so we still don't get to the bottom of it. All right, sir. We will one day, though. We promise you that that, that rate will never go up above nine cents, no matter how long you're with It'll never go over nine cents because I have a friend that lives over in uh, in uh, Kosovo. Uh huh. So that you know, it'd be nine cents. Uh, no, sir. Now that those rates are different. Well, actually, he don't have a phone now ever since his house got uh, flattened by a bomb. Sir, are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> no, I'm serious. So I don't know. Okay. No, because one, you know, um, see, I'm here in New Jersey, and a lot of those Kosovo refugees came over here. So I went up meeting a bunch of them, so I became friends with him, but now he was back uh-huh. over there, so I've been trying to keep in touch with him. Oh, okay. No, I mean, well, I'm not having, you know, <laughs> there's nothing funny about a Kosovo refugee. I guess not. Except he was missing his hand. That was pretty funny. Just had one stump. <laughs> kind of reminded me of my brother's finger. <laughs> All right, sir. We don't switch you for seven to ten days, and then you have 30 days to decide whether you're happy with our service or not. If you're not, then we will pay to switch you back. Look, I'm just trying to think, though, of seven, to, and then I got 30 days to make up my mind. Right. But what if, you know, like, what if I call off like 25 days and I said, look, I don't want this service. I don't want one of your guys over there, Okay. you know, to get mad at me. No, they'll switch you back, sir. And no charge to you. Not because I had that one other time that they get mad. Like, um, I got this girl uh, an engagement ring. 
and she said no. She didn't want to get married, and I tried to bring the ring back, and the guy started yelling at me. <laughs> He's like, you know, you should have known. You only met the girl two days before. And I said, well, it just, you know, the way she was looking at me, I thought she wanted to get married to me. <laughs> you know? All right. So they were all mad, you know, when I brought it back to the Kmart. All right, sir. Now, uh, do you know who your carrier is, sir? Um, you know, we had a, um, a backed-up toilet, and uh, it flooded out the whole place, and all the bills went f Okay, sir. I went out the place you. down the street, so I don't know if we still had the phone bill. We okay, lost sir. most of our stuff. Sir, my supervisor tells me that, that I cannot uh, continue with this call. Hi, Mr. Price, and I was calling in regards to your request to get a free estimate of siding and window. We needed it a month ago. Uh, the walls just wound up falling down. Okay. So I don't know. We can't really put up siding right now. Are you getting your half? Like you getting some construction done to it right now, or? No, they just they just fell down. Okay. And what about your windows? Yeah, the windows are still up. Okay, so you, you want to get those replaced? Yeah. How many windows did you want to get the estimate for? I think there's two that are still up. Is your name KC Price? Yeah. And um, who is the other owner of the home with you? It's Bill. Okay, and is there a Mrs. Price? No, there was a Mrs. Price, but not anymore. Okay. Um, One of the yeah. walls fell on her. Okay. How did the wall fall down? You saw it through a rock. And knocked the hole out Out the there? house. Well, That's what we think happened, because there was a rock out front when we went out there. Okay. On the sidewalk, so we're thinking that's what it was. Y'all were still living in the house, even though the walls fell down. In? Yeah, we just got a bunch of heaters. So, what are the windows standing up on? Are they on walls or? No, no, because there's no walls. So it's just like the window. Yeah. Gosh, do you have a door? N no, it went down with the wall. Oh my goodness! The uh, windows have to be on the wall for us to do the estimate. All right, well, what I'll do is I'll get a couple of my friends, and we'll all, you know, we'll hold up the walls, you know, so you can see what it looked like when they were up. And then, you know, when he gets a good view and he can see them, we'll just let them fall. Okay. Um, so we, we might not even have the walls put back up. We're not sure. We've got a nice view now. Well, okay. Well, we can, we, we, we'll do it then. What time are you going to be normally home? i got to check his schedule. Okay. But if you want, I mean, they... The guy could just drive by and he could see it for home because, you know, there's no walls. Okay. Mr. Price, this is I'm the manager in the office, and I was uh, monitoring the call with you. And I'm just trying to verify something, sir. You say your walls are not there? Yeah. Okay, in order for us to be able to provide you with an estimate for windows, you have to have a wall there. No, but there's two windows up, though. How can, be, how can windows just be hanging in midair? They just are. Uh, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take the chance on this one. Okay, hold on. Let me give you back to Final replacement windows. Okay, Mr. Price? Yeah. Okay, let me um, set the appointment. Um, so do you want me to call you back at about 6 or 7? Yeah, I think that would be good. Do you know if it's going to rain tonight? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know what the weather's like. Okay, because sometimes if it does, the phone gets all wet and then it doesn't work. Oh, so if it keeps if it keeps ringing, if we call you back, that means the phone probably got wet because the rain came in. Yeah, yeah, because you know you know there's no roof or anything. You don't have a roof either. No. Okay, so what I do is call you back around six or seven o'clock. Okay, but if you see rain outside, I wouldn't call. Well, I live in Dallas anyway, so oh, I don't look, know what we'll the just, weather's like there, but oh, well, just look in the paper, you know, just see. Okay. Watch the weather channel before you call and just okay. see, you know, the weather in North New Jersey. Let me just ask you this. Do you have a house sitting there, period? Or is this like just a big opening? Uh, it's like a big opening, but there's a couple windows. Okay, we can't come out for that. Man, speak with Judah Florentine? Yeah. Uh, do you think you'd be interested in some information on some drilling projects we have going on in Wyoming right now? Out I got there. a cousin, actually, in Wyoming. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, what part? I Wyoming. think he lives, like, right off of Main Street. Oh, really? Uh, what, what city? Yeah, it's like, there's a Burger King on the corner. Oh, uh, I would have no idea where... No? No. Um, there's a drive through Dunkin' Donuts they just put up? I would have no idea. So it wouldn't be... Probably not the area we're talking about. Uh, there's a Jiffy Lube. Really? And, uh, there's a big sign with a guy on it. Is it? Uh, I have no idea. No, yeah, that's not familiar? No, not at all. 
Hmm. Um, well, actually, we Does it blink in yellow light? You know, right off the street? I wouldn't know. Have you done any investigation? Is it Exxon gas station, too, right by his house? Not the, not the same area. No. no. Do they do oil changes there, too? Um, oil to actually, we're, we drill for gas. No, I'm just saying that the Exxon by his house, they do oil changes. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh. So I thought maybe I would ring a bell. Oh, no. Some guy, Pete, works there. He's got like a mole right on his chin. A couple of hairs sticking out of it. Nah, I can send you out the information on it. He's right by the softball field. You know that they, they have lights. Not the area we're talking about. He's right there. He's right by all of that stuff. Okay. You have a nice day, sir. All uh, right. Yeah, there's also the guy has a, a Cadillac, his neighbor. His neighbor has a Cadillac. Yeah, it's a white Cadillac with, like, red on it. What day would be uh, better for me to call you back later this week? Um... Probably like Monday or Tuesday. Okay, I'll talk to you then, Mr. Florentine. Okay, there's right. a, probably there's some wires too, like from the electric. Oh, really? Yeah, above, like, you know, going on the side of the road with the telephone poles. These are a couple flyers stapled to them. Well, well, I'll get with you uh, next week and we'll try to figure that out. Okay. Okay, you have a nice day, sir. Yeah, there's a ditch on the side of the road too. You know, they don't even have a barrier up there, or, you know, so like if you ever. You know, just drift it off, you go right into the ditch. You find out the name of that city, and we'll, we'll put that together next week. Okay. Okay, have a nice day. All right. Oh, there's also a, a guy, he's got, he's got a farm. You know, an old guy, he's got a hat and overalls. I'll talk to you later. All right, yeah, there's also, this guy is always jogging on the road. Always jogging, never seen him. Does it get, yeah, he's there every time. He, I don't know, he must jog like 50 miles a day. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out, Mr. Florentine. Okay. All right, bye. And there's, uh... Uh, may I speak with the person who takes care of the phone bill, please? What do you mean, takes care of it? Like, watches it? Uh, well, basically, the person that pays for the darn thing, sir. Well, there's three people here, and we all Can pay. Kind of in? Okay. Uh, the reason I'm calling, sir, was to reduce y'all's collective phone bill. Should I wait? Should I get the other two guys so what? we can all listen in? Because we all... I can wait. Are they there? No. Oh, okay. When, when will y'all be together in one spot at one time? How yeah. about Saturday at noon? No. No? No. Nine o'clock at night sometime during the week? No. Okay, listen, I'll try I'll try on Wednesday. Maybe I'll catch you guys on Wednesday, maybe not, okay? Well, no, Wednesday the one guy has to go into work for an hour because his boss has to yell at him. So Wednesday probably wouldn't be good. I'll just call Thursday night and hope for the best. Well, Thursday the other guy's got a dentist appointment at like 730. Well, I'll just call back at nine o'clock. Well, then I got a uh, I got a meeting with this uh, this counselor. I know, but if you home on Sunday. Sunday. Yep. About two, three o'clock in the afternoon, four o'clock, something like that. But the problem is, I'm going to be mowing the lawn though, and I'm not going to be able to. All you got to do is, is shut the lawn more off and come inside and listen for a couple of minutes. Then go back and cut your grass. Well, the problem is, you know, I can only borrow the neighbor's lawnmower from that time on Sunday. You're telling me your neighbor only loans your lawnmower. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. The other neighbor borrows it from like 4 to 6. So we take turns. He has this really good mower that cuts the stuff really good. A lawnmower to me is a lawnmower, sir. As long as you keep the blade sharp, which I do myself. No, this, this, one, this one's good, though. It's uh, silver. It's just a good one. What does the color have to do with the cutting grass, sir? Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, how about Thursday at... 7.30. Uh, I gotta give my grandmother a bath. I'll give you a call next week. Well, which day next week are you gonna call, though? Just so. Tuesday. Tuesday? Yep. I think the one guy has to go to court. Doesn't make any difference. It's Tuesday. I'll call you back on Tuesday. You find out when they're gonna be available. Then we can schedule a final call, okay? Um, I don't have a speakerphone. How are we all three of us gonna listen? I haven't got a clue, sir. If you got more than one phone, everybody can listen on a different line. Uh, no, we only have the one phone. A borrow from somebody else and plug it in your walls. I uh, can. I only got the one outlet, though. I can't put another phone in. Is get a three-way plug from Radio Shack. That's all. You put a three-way plug in the wall. You plug in one end. It's got three outlets. You plug in three different phones. You borrow one from the neighbor. Listen to what I got to say. Return the phone to the neighbors. And you're all done. Okay. Well, I'm have just trying day. to find if I can borrow a phone from the neighbor, though. I'm already borrowing a lawnmower. Though. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, to borrow a phone too. Not a problem. 7.40, sir. Thank Maybe you. if I could do the lawnmower on the phone at the same time. Okay. 
Mr. Audi Florentine? Yes, it's him. Yes, this is Brandon Cobb from the Mail Machine Company. Yeah. I was just trying to see if you were interested. Um. Yeah, I just I just got some bad news today, so. Oh, sorry to hear that, sir. Yeah, I just found out I got AIDS. Hi, this is Bobby Fletcher. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I'm um, just wondering what kind, of, what kind of dogs you have there that I might be able to adopt. Oh, uh, you look for small or big? Uh, I don't know, you know, something that's kind of cute. Okay, we've got a Casa Spaniel that's really cute. Yeah. Five months old, we've got a seven-month-old golden retriever who's really cute. What, what kind of dog is going to get someone's attention while I'm walking it is what I'm trying to say. What do you mean? You know, when I'm walking through the park or whatever, are people going to come up and say how cute it is? <laughs> um... I would say the Cocker Spaniel. The Cocker Spaniel? Yeah. So you think uh, I'll get, like, you know, some hot chicks coming up and saying, you sure, know, what the dog is? Uh-huh. Okay, because, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what do I have to do? Well, if you want to come down and take a look, if you like her, um, you can just see an application. I'm not really a dog person, but, you know, I'm in a big slump, so i got to meet women somehow. My friend said if you have a dog, they just come running up to you. The right. Birds. So when I'm done with it, what do I do? I bring it back to you guys or something, or? Absolutely not. We're looking for lifetime commitment. What's that? We're looking for lifetime commitment. Well, I, I can't have the dog for life. Okay, then you can't adopt the monkey. Sorry. You know, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust. I'm gonna bust out of my slump eventually. I don't need it for life. We adopt out of people that want pets. Well, I do want a pet. I, I, you know. I'm very sorry, sir. I don't think we can help you here. I, I don't understand what the problem is. I mean, you guys adopt, You guys are going to put the dog to sleep, so why not take it no, off your hands for a, a few no weeks? No, we don't wear a no-kill shelter. A no-what? A no-kill shelter. We don't put the dogs to sleep. Well, what do you do with them if no one adopts them? We hold on to them until they get adopted. Well, let me just borrow for a few weeks. Look, no, I, we don't I've do been that, with, sir. I've been with, like, three fat chicks in the last few months. i got to bust out. Well, i got to meet some hot chick. girl. Huh? Excuse me. I'm a fat chick, and I take offense to that. Well, I didn't mean, I didn't mean it towards you. I, I cannot continue this conversation anymore. I don't understand what the problem is. Was I with you? I'm very sorry. I just want a dog that's going to attract women. With you. I don't want a bunch of queer dudes trying to pet, pet my filthy animal, you know? Hold on one second. I'll let you speak to the manager. Why, no, I want to speak to you. Can I help you with something? Yeah. Who's this? My name is Lonnie. Hi, Lonnie. How fat is Chris? That's an inappropriate question. No, she just said she was fat. Hello? Hi, James. This is Nikki from... Institute? Hi. Are you in the medical or the technical fields? Uh, technical. All right, dude, it shipped over uh, a little bit. Yeah. It shipped okay. over. What, what exactly is it that you're doing right now? Computer electronics. Dude, it's ready for the hose. Do you have a, um, associate, or, I'm sorry, a diploma? Ow. Ow, easy. Loosen up. I'm trying to get the hose in. Ow. It's a little Ow. Hard. Be careful. So, are you okay? Yeah, it's just, uh... My roommate's just giving me an enema. He's giving you an enema? Yeah. 
You want me to call you back? No, it's fine. I just got to get over it. I've been backed up for like a week, so. Oh. Yeah, I haven't dropped a deuce in eight days, I think it is now. Yeah, uh, that, that's horrible. It is. It's painful, but, you know, so I don't know how to do this, but he's done it before, so. Well, anyways, um. Easy. All right, stay still. Loosen up. <sighs> yeah, okay, so what? Right. Okay, bachelor's program. What are you kind of working? Ow. Ow, you... Do it slow. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm working right now, yeah. Try using some lube, will you? Okay. How about the butter spray? You think that'll work? No, that's not going to work. Let's just try it. Ow. Ow. Did you got a shoe on? How long have you been wanting to get back into your bachelor's degree? What's kept you... Don't use a shoehorn. What's the matter with you? I don't know what to use. Uh, i just been, you know, lazy, basically. So why now do you think uh, it's going to work for you? No, I just, I'm ready. You're just ready? You ready? Here you go. Uh, ah. All right. Now, you got to quench or it's going to come out. Put in the... Hold on. Can you hold on for just one second for me? Um, could you? Why? Because I have another call coming in. Dude, when I just we... want to get this done. Okay. So you want to get your bachelor's degree coming in. Dude, when right. do you need corn? <sighs> I don't know. You want to get your bachelor's degree? Uh, yeah. Up. Yeah, I want to get it, yeah. Okay, how soon are you looking to get started? Oh, shit, it's backing up. Soon. It's backing up. I guess turn the water off. <sighs> well, we have a course that's starting. Uh. Is that the hat from Monopoly? I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Damn, it's hard. I think there's a worm in here. Are you sure you don't want me to call you back? No, I mean, I swear I'd rather get this done now. Dude, what's this string? It's a piece of string. I don't know what it is, man. I gotta pull it out. Okay, well, um... I'm sorry, but I really don't feel comfortable talking to you Why? right now. Because you're getting an enema. I don't want to be on the phone with you while you're getting an enema. Well, it's over with now. Okay. Dude, why is the string connected to my gerbil? Okay, I'm, I'm going to let you go. Why? Well, because now you're talking about gerbils. I don't want to I don't want to hear that. I'm trying why to get you enrolled in school, and you, I can hear you guys in the background. It's I, I don't know how that got there. Kind of disturbing. You're going to my little KC. I can't believe it. Okay, I'm going to turn you over to my director, and she'll be able to finish up this call. Why can't you finish it? What's the problem? Um, because I, I can't do it anymore. Dude, you owe me a new gerbil. Uh, what I'd like to do for you, Jewel, is uh, customize a package based on your investment experience. Uh, have you ever traded stocks before? No. No. Okay. Uh, what about mutual funds? No. Uh, no problem. Uh, what about commodity? No. Okay. Are uh, you familiar with the Dow Jones? No. Uh, you could have averaged as much as 17% return per month over the past 11 months. If I can show that to you in black and white, is that the kind of returns you're looking for? No. No, that's not what you're looking for? No. Uh, do you do any investing right now? No. Um, is there, you don't want to see a 17% return? No. Is that your favorite word? Yeah. Hello? Hello, my name is I'm calling on behalf of University. Was this a good time for you? This is fine. Uh, let me get started by asking you a couple of questions. Are you uh, currently working? Yeah. No, I'm not. Okay, where are you working at? Uh, real estate. I'm fixing cars. And are you inquiring for yourself or your company? Uh, for myself. For my company. Is that... Is there somebody else on the line? I don't know. I, I thought that was on your phone. Hey, no, because I only have one line. Let me, uh, let me call you right back from this number. That's really weird. I mean, I'd rather just get this done now. I mean, hopefully maybe it's just some okay. kind of interference from another yeah. phone. Uh, you should okay. probably call back. What is that? Whatever it is, like, it just seems like somebody's listening in because they're contradicting what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, I have a manager listening right now. 
he can't figure it out either. Um, all right, let's uh, hope we get so, through this. Are you familiar with the university at all, Jim? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Not at all. Okay. But that Please almost sounded like your voice. No, it's definitely not my voice. Um, I have an answer actually listening right now. Um, Was it him? No, it's not him. Okay. Here, my, my manager wants to speak to you. Uh, sir? Yeah. Hi, I'm the enrollment manager here. Obviously, the lines are crossing or something's happening. It could be with our system since you only have one line at your home. What we can do is we'll go ahead and get some information sent out to you. Did you want to go ahead and put that on the, um, like on the payment plan through your credit card? Uh, yeah. No, Perfect. thank you. Who just said no, thank you? That was whoever's on this line also. And then I could start at the beginning of the month? Yeah, March 1st would be the beginning. What about April 1st? Whoever's on this line, you are tapping into a line, and you're, it's a problem, and it will be investigated. I suggest you do terminate now. You sound like a dick. What? So I'm going to go ahead and send this information to you. Um, please give us a call later on, and um, we'll be happy to go ahead and, and clear that up for you. Your doom awaits you. It's just weird that somebody that must be over there is listening to our conversation and putting comments and words in my mouth that I'm not saying. Yes, you are. I can guarantee you that's nobody here in our office that's doing that. Are you having problems with any other calls? I mean, no. This is just this is the first time I've been in this company over a year and a half and not heard anything like this, sir. Year and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and terminate the call. We'll get the information sent out to you, and then we'll get you into that class. No, you won't. But that wasn't me. Yeah, and I can tell the difference between this idiot's voice and your voice. I'm a nice guy. It's not going to happen. It's pretty scary. I do. I, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. We will call you back later on, sir. What Later this afternoon, we'll give you a call. I'll still be here. My suggestion is maybe you want to go ahead and, and contact the phone company also. That's a dumb suggestion. Okay, but what happens if after we hang up my next call, this is still going on? Then you need to get your phone checked out. But it's not my phone. It just started when you guys called. It has nothing to do with our company. Yes, it does. Well, why would it just start when your company called me? I don't me? know, sir. I don't have the answer to that. Why not? You work at a university. If you have questions, you call us, sir. I, mean, okay. I have a lot of questions that you're rushing me off the phone with. and. Well, sir, we can't talk in this situation right now. Why not? I mean, this is a conversation between you and me. If there's a third party on the line, you know, they Can't you just no check at your office there to see if someone else is picking up the phone? I'm sitting here in the middle of my office, sir, and there is nobody that is picking up the phone. Are you naked? The person that's doing this, why don't we ask where it's coming from? Because they would know. Obviously, this person's not too bright if they got to sit here and do this. If, if the person would like to speak up and uh, tell us who they are, you know, that's fine. Now he's not saying anything. Right. Hello, are you still there? I'm still here. No, I'm talking about the other guy. Hello? Hello? No, he's not saying nothing. Can we finish up now? Maybe he's gone? Yeah. You're both retarded. He's back. Yeah, go ahead and state your name if you have the nerve to do that. Yeah, state your name. Uh, he won't do that. All right, let me just say something to the guy, whoever's doing this is, uh, you know, you made it very difficult for me, and I don't appreciate it. You basically just ruined it and made it a lot tougher for me, and now it's going to take me a few more hours to get through this. I don't know if you want to say something to him before we hang up. No. Um, what he's doing is a federal offense, and, and it will be investigated. This guy's not too bright that he has to listen to conversations and do it that way. And, you know, he, I want you to grow up. That's all I can say. Sure, this is Al. Hi, Al. This is Bobby Fletcher. Um, I bought some bait at your shop uh, a few days ago, and I wound up catching a shark. Uh huh. And um, when I cut it open, it had a human head in it. Wow. Yeah. So I don't know what I should do. I mean, oh, well, I'd call the state police, sheriff department. Why? You think they'll let me keep it? Well, I doubt they're going to let you keep the head. <laughs> now, I'd like to keep it. Actually, I got it in my living room. You know. I got up on the mantle. It kind of matches the couch. You know, you, I'm again. You, you talking to the fish's head or what? What? No, no, the human head. I've been getting a lot of compliments on it, actually. But I'd definitely be for calling the sheriff or the state police, one another. What? 
Why is that? Well, you find somebody's head, come on, get real. You're going to call the cops. Why? Well, I don't know. I know. I don't know what to do. I just don't, you know. Well, what else are you going to do? I was thinking about maybe using it as bait for the next time I oh, go yeah, out. Oh, yeah, that, that sounds really good. I'm just asking. I don't know, man. Well, my, I'm you know. just telling you, you're a little off-center guy using somebody's head for bait. Well, what if I keep it? I mean, you do you know a taxidermist, maybe? Oh, yeah, sure. A lot of guys are going to stuff a human head. I don't think so, guy. Come on, get real. Is It's not my fault that there was a head in the That's shark right. that I caught. And how many people are going to put a head, somebody's head, over their fireplace or mount it or anything yeah. else? Well, I didn't know what else to do with it. I mean, a lot of people think it's fake until they get up close. I don't know close. what world you're living in, guy, but you should call the state police. And is, it looks Asian ahead. Is there any Asians missing? How would I know? I don't know. They're going to come out and take it and then try to identify the person, I would imagine. I'm not a police officer. Oh, man, I don't want them to take it. This is ridiculous. I named it Wong, you know. Well, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Well, see, the, the problem is the cops question me about it. Then I'm going to have to tell them where I bought the bait from. Then they're going to come after you guys. For what? For selling you sand shrimp? Come on, get real. Yeah, but they're going to find. They're going to want to find out. They're going. You don't think they're going to backtrack and find out where I got the bait from? All this other oh, stuff. Oh man, I don't know what plan you're working on, but uh, I'm not interested in this conversation. Okay? There's not a plan. You're being Listen, ridiculous. The other night, I put my hand in it like a puppet. I made this funny voice. I don't care. It was hilarious. It scared the hell out of my buddy, man. I don't care. Do you understand? Who's on first? Bingo! Who? It's right! What? Oh, I know what the wigginga! I don't know. Why I order? Why I order? I'm going with you, why you go? Hi, I'm calling you from match. Is this a bad time? No, this is fine. I was just a new counseling a couple, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, no, go ahead. No, no, they're, you know, they're sitting in the waiting room at the rectory. Um, so I'm leading the priesthood in about, um, couple months, so I'm going to start dating. Really? Uh, and what's making you leave the priesthood, if you don't mind my asking? Um, I'm horny. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Definitely makes sense. Well, being that since you can't date right now... Well, I wanted to start coming in, actually, and just going over the whole process. Excuse me, Father Price? Yeah. Uh, what's that, the movie? It's in the VCR. Are you familiar with Roof One? Yes. You're going to take that towards the Garden State Plaza Mall. Yes. Yes. Garden Mall. Father, could you turn that down, please? To the Garden Mall. Okay. Father, could you please? Could you turn that down? Okay. This is a business. I'm sorry. He's just a little crazy. Father, could you shut the door, please? You're a priest and you have porn on the... Device. I don't have any. There's a priest that just got transferred here six months ago. Come we on. are human, though. We do have impure thoughts. I, I, That's I, why I'm leaving the priesthood. All right, well, I'm sorry. You just don't come across horny priests very often. Have you been reading the news lately? Not really. What does the whole thing cost, actually? We tell people to bring in about $250. Okay, what, uh, Father Don. Yeah. Um, could you bring in the collection box, please? Hold on a second. You're going to be, you know, like, seriously using church money for this? I was just going to see how much we had in there. I might, you know, just take a few bucks out of it. It's locked. Is there any way you can open it? Okay, are afternoons or evenings better for you? Uh, evenings. Evenings would be better? Oh. Ooh, it's kind of difficult to do an evening when you're really, really booked. i got plenty of change i got to count here. Uh, Father, right. help me count this change, please. I love it. These, these dummies put this money in the collection box. I think it's going to the church. What happened? People are assholes sometimes. <laughs> so do I need to bring the change, uh, the $250 with me? You're going to bring the change? Well, I'm going to see if I can go to the bank and get a change, but I don't want them to be suspicious. Yeah, yeah. Unless you just want me to bring the collection box and it might be yeah, easier. you can leave the collection box at home. Okay. Just, you know, as long as it's 250 Oh, well, you might have to bust off that other one. Oh, come on, seriously, you got to be kidding me, right? you got to be joking me. All right, we got plenty of money now. I mean, you know what? Just don't waste our time. Good morning, Peace Corps. Was speaking. Hi. Yes. Hi, this is Bobby Fletcher. Okay. How you doing? I'm doing fine. What can I do for you? Um, 
I want to join the Peace Corps. You do? Okay. Yeah. Let me, um, you want information or would you like to talk to a Can you just give me quick, some information real quick because i got to run out. Okay. What i got to do and where i got to go and all that stuff. Okay. Um, where you got to go is determined after you fill out your application. And Washington decides on that according to your background, your education. Um, well, I want to go somewhere warm, you know. Well, you I can, I got my suntan lotion ready to go, you know, so I don't want to <laughs> go nowhere cold. Well, that you can give them a preference but they make the ultimate decision. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm, you know, they're not going to send me to Alaska if I'm doing this, you know, charity work. I want a suntan, uh, you know. I think I that's have, fair. I have no idea. No idea. They're not going to send me to Somalia, are they? <laughs> I don't know. I'll be, you know, I'll be the only one over there with a flat stomach. <laughs> Just put down on my application. I don't want to go somewhere where ugly girls are. <laughs> Seriously, you know what I mean? With my American accent, I'm I'm bound to nail some Greek chick or something. Oh, Lord. Look, once I get there, I'm going to hang for like a week, and then I'm on my own. Okay, well, I'm going to send you a brochure. What do we got to do to help these people out? We What do we do, pass out condoms or something like that? No, no, you don't do what that. What do we got to do? Um, According to your education and training, your... Um, <laughs> That's what they'll do. They gotta send me somewhere warm. Okay, well you'll have to talk to your recruiter. Hold on one moment. This is Hey, this is Bobby Fletcher. Hi, how are you? Good. Uh, I'm looking to join the Peace Corps. I'm trying to get some information. What kind of information would you like? I, I just want to go somewhere where it's warm. Well, we can't guarantee that. We can offer you an opportunity on the application to state a regional preference, and we could try to work toward that preference. Nah, I, that's not going to work. Okay. What kind of places, are you, what, are you, what am I at? I want to go to Hawaii, Tahiti, or uh, Acapulco would be fine. We don't serve any of those locations. Just send me to south of France. That's fine. We don't go to south of France. Great. We serve in all developing countries. Uh, uh, Cancun? No, Cancun. We, we do not serve in Mexico. Well, it's a developing country. It is. You're right. We don't serve there. But all the countries that we serve in are developing countries. How do you get people to join? If you Who, who wants to go over to friggin'... How about Tampa? Because I got some friends down there. Tampa is actually in the United States, and we're only in other countries. Yeah, I know it's in the United States. So where do I go? Would you like me to continue to name the 70 countries? Yeah. Okay. Niger, Senegal, South Africa, <laughs> Tanzania, the Gambia. That's it? Yes, that's it. That didn't sound like 70. Perhaps I got distracted. Okay. All right. You can start from the top then. No, I'll just send you some information. Why don't you just... Hello. Hello, James. Yeah. That other company called Dead... Yeah, okay. Don't worry. I'm sorry. I'm just on my cell phone. I'm at the hospital. Okay. Yeah, my wife's just in the emergency room. She's got a stitch in her finger or whatever. Sorry to hear that. I think she's being a baby about it. It was a little yeah. thing, you know. She's always yeah. being a baby about it. Okay. Yeah, I know. She is. My brother-in-law is here, too. Um, Jim? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Can I bother you for a second? I'm Dr. Levy. Uh, can I wait for a second? I just on the phone. Well, actually, it's, it's, pr it's really important. Yeah, you, you need to call. Hello? Hey, Jim, sure. you need to go take care of your wife. I'm no, this is fine. This is fine. It's no big deal. All right. Uh, there, was, there was a complication, and um, you know, I'm sorry, but she didn't make it. <laughs> What? What? She she didn't make it. She was a stitch. What do you talk? She was getting a stitch. What do you mean she didn't? Well, there was Sorry, you there? Yeah. There was other complications. What do you mean she, she, she getting a stitch? She what? died? What are you talking about? She's gone. She got she was getting a stitch. Well, all right, every, guys, calm down. Can you? I need you to end your phone. Well, calm down. She's got a stitch. All right, hold on a second. Sir? Yeah. Yeah. I, let me call you later. I'm really in debt, though. I I. Well, I understand. I, yeah, I'd rather just. You know, if you could just, wow, just give me a little information or just so we can get this thing going at least. James, what we do is negotiate settlements on accounts. You negotiate settlement. Yeah, which is a percentage of the amount can you, that you owe. Can you please get off the phone? I'm trying to. Yeah. I need okay. I haven't identified the body, one of you. And what else? I, I, I haven't gotten past this whole stitch I, thing. I can't what, believe this in the background, you, James. You're still on the phone. All right, listen. I, I know, it's just... I'm still on the phone, and, and I can't go... Can I just finish this call up? Yeah, you want to finish the call? We get... She's gone. 
I mean, you know how much I'm dead I am, and this guy's going to help me out. James, I'm going I'm to call you back. No, it's fine, sir. It's, it's fine. It's okay. Let's it's just a little crazy here. Let's My brother-in-law's here, and he's yelling at me. No, I'd, well, I'd like to talk to the guy if he's going to get you out of debt. Yeah, he's going to get me out of debt. Well, let me talk to him. Guys, can you both wait? I, I, I need to... Sir, can you... Here, um, I, I, I just got to go identify the body. Just talk to my brother-in-law. Hello? Hello. How you doing? Now, what is, what's the deal here? How do you... I got, I got like three credit cards and then student loans. Can I consolidate that and get... And... Well, we don't, we don't do student loans. We negotiate settlements on credit cards. I, I, I'm having a little problem with what's going on there. It doesn't... Well, this, this all came as a big shock. I mean, we're all standing here waiting for... It was just a stitch. Okay, guys, can you please... I need Not to adding get up. To come into the emergency room with me. Now, you're on the phone? Oh, well, I just got to find a body. I would just... I need a brother to come in as well. All right, well, here. I'm going I'm to call back later. You don't have to call back later. Hold on. Hello? Hello. All right, this is Dr. Levia. These guys are uh, must be in shock because I don't know yeah. what's going on, but they're not getting off their call. Yeah. Nurse, can you take these guys down, please? If, if what I was hearing is actually going on. I couldn't believe it. They wouldn't get off the phone. What was this regarding? Because they were saying something about debt consolidation. What we do is negotiate settlements on account. Because I could probably use some. Probably going to have a lot of malpractice insurance <laughs> Thank you. to Bye. deal with. And Hello? I'm calling for small business. Do you spend about more than 25 or less than 25 on your current phone bill? I'm not sure. You're not sure? You, I guess you don't handle your um, phone bill? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Um, do you know who's your current carrier right now? I'm not sure. Okay, thank you. What's the problem? Nothing. Um, I was just letting you know that you do qualify for um, our service. We have a 6.9 cent per minute. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Who cares? Okay. Yeah. And what? But you just said you don't care, right? I didn't say that. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't know who said that. Maybe it's somebody else. I'm sorry. But we have a 6.9% per minute, 24 hours, seven S days a week. Stop babbling. Okay, are you doing this yourself? Or are you... What are you talking about? Well, we have no monthly plan fee, and it has a $20 minimum. That means, um... A right already. Is this... Hello? Yeah. Okay, thank you. What's the problem? Nothing. I, I don't know. I, I keep hearing things. Yeah, so? That means I can't get the plan because you're hearing things? No, I mean, I'm trying to offer it to you, but you keep saying things to me. I'm not saying that. You said you're hearing things. Well, all right. My name is... This is what we have to offer. It applies in state to state, local toll, and state and varies. Nobody cares. I mean, you just said something to me. I mean, I'm not that... I'm not going to sit here or... I'm just saying I'm trying to offer you something and it's not working. Why isn't it working? Okay. If you got some decent plan there, I'll take it. But I don't, you know, you're not explaining yourself. I was trying to explain it, but you. Hold on. Uh, let me speak. Hello, sir. Yeah. Yes, my name is. Am I in supervisor? Were you interested in the plan he was talking about? I don't know. He didn't get to the point. So if you put him back on, we'll see. Well, sir, some of the, from my monitoring, it just kind of sounded like you weren't really interested. You guys have been calling my business like ten times the last two weeks, so I got me on the phone. Let's see what you got. Well, sir, uh, basically what we have is we have a six of a plan right now. Who cares? Thank you, sir. Hello? How are you today? Good. Peace. Take a spoonful, Peace. just a little spoonful. I'm just a middle of feeding my grandfather. I want to talk to you about uh, who you invest your money red with. Pudding. Take it slow. That's too much of red pudding. Okay. Sounds red like he's pudding. a little upset. <laughs> All right, now you got everything here. Here. Oh, no. Ah, you oh. son of a bitch. You oh. bit my finger. Oh, sorry, Jimmy. Okay. Well, I'm not going to feed you again. Take the dentures out. Suck. All right. I can't move. Well, what I we do move. is we, uh, we take people like yourself. Uh, hard Get the pliers then. All right, on three. Hold on, wait. One, two, three. Oh! Oh! Okay! Oh, God, I'm done, Gary! 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. I just had to take his teeth out so he didn't bite me the next time. Sounds like he's in pain. Is he okay? No, he's not in pain. He, you know, he's always looking for attention. Every dollar that you save, in case you're ever uh, sued or uh, untimely, is he okay? Swallow it. Here. Oh, great. Let me get my roommate. Hold on a second. Hey, Artie, get in here. What? I don't know. He's choking. Just take care of him. I got a call here, will you? What's wrong with him? He's choking on something. Also, uh, upon your untimely oh, death, uh, it will go through the probate, and your beneficiary will be able to. Uh, it, uh, is everything okay? They just give him the hind leg maneuver or something. I don't know. Get be what do they do? Just get behind him? I'm in investments. I'm not a doctor. I'm not either. I just just get behind him. Ready, Grandpa? Oh, oh, oh. It's not worth Just punch him in the stomach, pop it out. Dear Lord, I can't believe you just said that. No, it's okay, sir. Don't worry about it. Okay, so everything's okay? He's quiet now. It's fine, yeah. It did work, actually. I got to tell you, I've never uh, quite had a phone conversation like this. Uh, my goodness. Okay, uh, let's see. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. I heard uh-oh. Yeah, what? Someone say uh-oh? Uh yeah. I don't think he's breathing. What do you mean he's not breathing? I thought he was fine. No, I don't think he's breathing. Feel his heart. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Wake up, Grandpa. Grandpa? You punched him in the stomach. You told me to. I didn't tell you to. You, you said no. Sir. You punched him in the stomach. He punched him, not me. You told me to wake up, Grandpa. What'd you do that for? You really want to fed him the meat. Oh, dear God. Wake, Sir. Wake up, Grandpa. Did you have a dead man there? I don't know. Wake up. What do you mean you don't know? I don't... Is he dead or he's well, not? Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa. You Sir, didn't that remember before I said to give him the Heimlich maneuver and he punched him in the stomach? Sure. Didn't he do it? The maneuver is not punching a man in the stomach. I know, I'm saying he punched him in the... Didn't he... Pu punch him in the stomach for? I don't know, but he punched him. He was the one who did this. I didn't, wake right? Up, wake up. Dear God. Well, you didn't pay the rent last month. Should I call 911? No, here, hold on, hold on. Hey, what's going on in here? What Both of you get the hell out of here. Both of you. The hell, Sir? Dead man there? I'm sorry about this, sir. I, those are my sons. They're home from school. I'm a little pissed off that I found them in here fooling around. I was outside cutting the grass. They must have been in here playing a joke on you. Sir? So you mean it's all just a big joke, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, that's f***ing bullshit. All right, Arch. Hello? Hi, my name is... Do you have time for me to explain to you exactly what we can do for you? Yeah. Now, for you to qualify for our program, you must have a minimum of $5,000 in unsecured debt. Now, the most important part to qualify you, you must be struggling to make your payments or past due. What was that part you just said? You must be struggling or past due. Are no. you past due? No, that was before that. Struggling. No, no, before no, that. You must have a minimum of $5,000 and above in unsecured debt with each. No, no, not that. What is it? No, there was something else I missed in there. Uh, to qualify you for our program, you must no, have a no. Uh, you must have a minimum. No, of five no, years. no, it wasn't that. Well, what is it, sir? I don't know. I don't know. If I, if I knew what it was, I wouldn't be asking you. We are a nonprofit debt selling no, company. No, no. I'm reading from a strip, and I know exactly what I just stated. The part right before the debt relief, you said. What was that? Um, we are debt. The debt relief. We. Are, Part of it was right before that. We are the exclusive agent. No, 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 no. You, you're throwing me for, for loops right here, and that's all that I have stated. Must have been right after the debt relief thing. A non-profit debt no. settlement. No, no. Let me finish, sir. A non-profit debt settlement company. No, it's not that. You it's not that. Information. It's not that. Oh, this is frustrating. Would you please let me explain that maybe you won't be so confused or getting so frustrated? Okay, but you said that one three times. I told you that wasn't it. Okay, then let me go on to proceed further then. Okay. Now, because we are a nonprofit company. No, no. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to explain, sir, to you the program, and you're acting as if you don't want to correspond and listen. You keep hollering, no, no. Because I know, well, as soon as you start talking, I know that's not it. I don't know what you want. I just want to get at the information, but I missed the part. Maybe someone else can help you. It was right okay. before the debt relief. We are a debt relief company. Okay. No, no. That's, no, that's. You keep hollering, no. 
And no. I'm getting frustrated, and I need to stay professional with you. Well, that's not okay. it. Okay. You keep telling me it's right before the debt relief. I know what my strips say. Yeah, and what is... Listen, a non-profit No. Debt. It's that's not, no, that. no. That's it. Well, I will. Okay, what's right that's after that? Right after that, that's, that's the information regarding debt relief. No, no. You keep hollering, no, 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 no. That's very frustrating, and I can't help you. I haven't even went through the strip with you yet. Well, it's frustrating when you keep repeating the same thing when I tell you it's not it. We keep going over the same thing over and over, and I, my day is going to continue to go a good day. You know, and it would be a better day if you could just give me the information that I missed, the piece well, of... you listen. Okay. Now, because we are a non-profit debt, a, a non no, no, it's not that. Sir, will you stop saying no, no? Do not listen. Let me go on through this strip. Now, because we are a non-profit company, we are able to guarantee. It's not that. No, prayer. it's not that part, though. I heard that. I'm going. I'm moving on from that because there's nothing else there. Maybe you'll get some understanding in the next part. And you don't want me to keep going back over them, and I'm, and I'm not going to keep repeat myself over and over. I need I'm, to know that important piece of information, and you're not giving it to the me. The only important piece of information is that we are a nonprofit company, and we represent. I got that. No, no. Well, bye, sir, because you still how to know, and I can't. I'm not taking this from you today. <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> <laughs> National Law Defense Network, this is Rich. How can I help you? Hi, Rich. This is Bobby Fletcher. I'm calling about the job. What type of uh, sales um, experience you got? I've sold everything over the phone. Name it. You've done it? Right. Well, basically what we're doing here, guy, <laughs> is dealing specifically with, uh, well, not specifically, taxes. <laughs> uh, are you burping? What? Who, somebody's burping on this line. I only have one line. Okay, somebody's burping on this line, and so that means somebody is probably listening on my phone call and being an idiot. What, do you got some kids working there or something like uh, that? I of mean, course. Who? There's some little idiots around here somewhere. You know, and the people in the middle of the conversation burping. I mean, that's pretty childish. Okay. So, um, so uh, what well, kind of salary are we talking about? 350 bucks a week versus commission. Yeah. So, uh, whoever's burping, you're puking. If you got enough guts, why don't you come over here so I can whoop on you? Yeah. Uh, the cool thing about this place is you have an opportunity to make as much money as you want and move up the ladder quick. I've had six promotions in 14 months. Right. And then we move you up the ladder, and we work also with prepaid legal. We can actually, if you give prepaid legal away, you sell the extra $36 deal, you get 25 bucks for 36 bucks. Not too shabby. That sounds good, man. Because if you get somebody to close your calls for you, it doesn't matter. They'll close a call, you'll still get paid the same amount of money, because they're getting 3% off your deal. I'm starting to hear something. I'm, I didn't pick that last Oh, well, yeah, that was a big one. It's a big, juicy one. But, uh, you know, whoever it is may be funny, but it doesn't bother me because you know, I'm professional enough to talk right well, over. Well, look, if I'm going to make sales for you guys, I can't have some guy burping over the phone. Well, no, this is only on the inbound phones here uh, that were for my specific ones because let's just say there's internal problems and we're getting rid of them. That's why we're hiring from this division. So this ain't going to happen with me because, you know, I'm pretty professional when I do my calls. Oh, no doubt. So are we. And that's why people like this guy on the other line, when we find out who it is, we'll just have Adam fire him, you know, and then I'll take him outside and just beat his ass. All right. I'd like to work for you guys. You guys sound good, but the burping's a little too much for me, and it sounds like you guys are pretty unprofessional over there. No, that what it is, is it's a, a, one of those phones that you listen on, okay? And no, they cannot only go that. on so many lines. I can't deal with that if I'm trying to make sales. You won't have to. If it ever happens, we find out where it comes from. Trust me, we will. All right, I'll call you back tomorrow if I All hear right. burping then. Thanks. Joe, I'm Jackson General Connors. Hi, my name is Bobby Fletcher. Who am I speaking with? Jesse Lance. How you doing, man? Okay. Good. I'm just calling you. Uh, I got my. I'm working on my tax and stuff, and I'm thinking about. I just need to know if, uh, if I can write certain things off if they're deductible. Uh huh. My traveling and stuff like that, because I'm a salesman. Can I write all that stuff off? Yes. You know, as long as they're involved in your traveling for the business. Well, usually it is. I mean, sometimes I'll go, like, you know, to the red light district or something like that. You know. I mean, is it for, for your work? Well, yeah, it, it actually is for work because it, you know, releases stress. But it's uh -huh. just tough to get a receipt from one of them hoes, you know. Yeah, like, but they're not going to allow a deduction for the, you said, a whore? Yeah. A woman, right? Well, yeah, whole woman, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're not going to allow deduction for that, though. But that's you know, it's part of the job. It's releasing stress. 
Yeah, but they're not going to ours. They're not going to allow deduction for that. Why not? Well, because even though you may say it's stress, you have to prove that it's stress. Well, uh, what do you want me to do? Bring the condom in? So how, well, how the condom going to prove that it's stress related? Because it's going to be full. And that means I released the stress. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you plain that like, they're not going to get a deduction for it. Oh, come on, man. I mean, you're killing me here. <sighs> what, what you sell? I sell little bars of soap to hotels. That's very stressful. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, the artist is not going to allow a deduction for those things. Then. Not even a blow-up doll. No, no, they're not going to allow a deduction for that. Dude, you're killing me, man. Yeah. Do you bang hookers? No. It's guy-to-guy -guy talk. No, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, you never got one. Well, I was in my, when I was 20 years old, probably about 30 years ago. Really? Yeah. Was she good? She was all right, yeah. Big breasts? She medium size. Really? Yeah. How was her ass? Medium. Medium? Yeah. What do you do? You a spank or anything like that? No, no. I thought you wanted to ask some tax questions. I do, but I don't know how we got on this subject. Now, like I said, the only thing I'm the only work I'm only do for you is do your soap business, because there's other stuff you're talking about is illegal and it's not gonna fly. That's not a, that's not illegal. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, that's illegal. What is selling whores? You look. You already told me you bang hookers, so you're involved. Well, that's when I told you that. You told me that before. I you told you I school a whole twenty over twenty years ago. There's no statute of limitation on banging whores. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So we're not in this together. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I don't think I'll be interested in what you're doing here. All right, well, let's do it with the soap, then, and cover it up. Well, no. I'm, I'm going to tell you goodbye, man. No, come on, man. Bro, you're killing me. Hello? Uh, Jim? Yeah. I'm calling back from the marketing group. Could you hold on one second? I got someone at the door. Of course. Okay. Yeah. You ordered a pizza? Yeah. Pepperoni, right? No, not pepperoni. That's what it said? No, I didn't know it. I said a plain pizza. Sir, I'm sorry, but I took the order myself, and I heard it was your fault. I don't, I, my, my wife's a vegetarian. I can't have pepperoni. Do you want the pizza or not? You guys messed up the order, not me. Hold on. No, you guys messed Let up. Let me check on my wife. All right. Just hold the phone for me for a second. Hello? Yeah. What's going on with this guy? I don't know, man. It felt like you're busting his balls. No, I did, the guy ordered a pepperoni pizza, and now he doesn't want to pay me. You know, I've gotten stiffed three times this week. This is a joke? You're a pizza guy, man. Take it easy. No, but I'm saying the guy's, trying to, well, the guy's trying to stiff me out of, like, 12 bucks. I don't even know you or him. Well, but it, I'm just I saying. I don't care about your problem. Well, i got a problem here I need to solve. I mean, I've got to get rid of... What the fuck are you talking to me for? I have no idea. Look, I... I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who you are. I just got to get rid of this pie. That's all I'm saying. You sound like a fucking joke. Do you want to... Do you want the pie? I'll get it to you. Actually, pepperoni. Um, you like pepperoni? Hold on one second. You guys want pepperoni? You, you guys will, del you will, you will deliver here to Broad Street? Yeah, I can be there in like 20 minutes. You want the pie? Yeah, well, let's see he what this guy want, wants he's first. He's selling my pie? He wanted the pie, the guy. He, this guy wanted You don't even know if I wanted it or not. You I said my wife. She's going to take the pie. No, no, you said it didn't. Sir, you're, you're buying a pizza off of him? This guy is crazy. I, I get a pizza at my house, and now you want the pizza? He you just said you were taking No, I said I'm going to go check. My wife said she'll take the pepperoni off. I, I, this guy is making up shit as he goes along. I cannot. I just heard him say, yeah, okay, you'll take the pizza. All right, I'll give it to you. I, this guy's putting words in my mouth. I'm a freaking mortgage broker. I don't want your pizza. Well, why did he just said you? I just came in. James, I'll call you back later, okay? No, don't call me back later. Look, who, do you want the pizza? Here. You want, you're selling him a pizza? Do you want the pizza? Sir, do you want the pizza? I don't want the pizza. This is a joke. I this isn't a joke. He doesn't want the pizza now either? You he don't want it. Deal. Now I'm stuck with a pie. You don't want it either? I don't want the pizza. I never ordered What, what the hell is going on? Well, I don't want it either. Well, somebody's going to have to pay for this. I don't care. That guy's got to pay for it. Well, you get his address here. Right. Just, just get it out of here. Then you got to buy the pizza, sir. No, they don't want the pie. Someone's got to buy this pie. Now he's not taking it. you got to take it. How am I going to trust him to borrow money off of it? He's not going gonna to buy my pizza. Can you answer that? Can you get the fuck off the phone and put this guy back on? Well, are you taking the pie or not? Why don't you shove it up your ass? Look, I'm just trying to get rid of a pie. I'm trying to make a living here, all right? Give a shit about what you got to do. You don't even have to tip me. If you just take it off my hands, I'd appreciate it. Shove it down your throat, jerk. Do you want to talk to... Yeah, give me the phone. All right. It's my you phone. You know, get, get out of here with the well, pizza. you guys decide on who wants to buy the pie. You think I want a pie? I don't know. I walked in. That's what you said you needed. It's getting cold. It's ridiculous. Exactly. I don't want to work with you. I, gotta go. I can't trust you that you're going to steal my pie, and I don't know what kind of loan you're going to give me. Can you get us a drink? This is a really... This is Goodbye.
Hello? Hi, this is Lemmy Kilmister. Yeah. How you doing? This is John from University. Just want to let you know there's two events coming up. Um, April 2nd, the other event is be held on April 12th. It's an opportunity for you to apply for the summer semester. Those states are going to be no good, actually. Okay. I gotta go, um, I gotta go to jail for 30 days starting April 1st. Well, just give us a call back. I'm not gonna be able to call you from prison. It's only got one call a day, though. Well, as soon as you get out. You know, you punch your girlfriend in the face once, and that's what happens, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's no problem. You guys don't have any problem with, you know, um, a convicted felon going to school. I mean, obviously, they're gonna ask you the question on the um, application. Um, I don't know how they're gonna take it. You know, my girlfriend was nagging at me one night, so I just belted her in the face. All right. I mean, I've, I've never, I've never had to deal with such a situation. So, is the regular classrooms where the class is going to be? Or how, how's yeah, it work? The regular classrooms. What are the um, seats? I are they just like regular seats, or? Yeah. Are they cushion seats? So I'm just afraid. I don't know. You know, I mean, the media at Rikers Island is supposedly pretty tough, and I have a feeling I'm going to get raped over there. So, you know what I mean? Right. My ass is going to be pretty sore. Sorry. So I'm just hoping that there's at least cushioned seats, if the wood seats, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sit on them. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, I could transfer you to a department where you can find out. Well, if I'll be able to sit on wood seats. I mean, what kind of seats will be available? Um, yeah, can you transfer me then? Mm, sure. Okay. Hold, please. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello? Hi. Hi, I was talking to someone before about um, signing up for... Uh, some classes, what's going on is uh, I gotta go to jail for 30 days to Rikers Island. And I just, you know, I have a, a pretty good feeling that I'm probably gonna get, you know, raped in jail. You know, so I need, I'm gonna need a cushion to sit on because I'm feeling, you know, I'm gonna be hurting back there for a while. Yeah, I mean, if you if you absolutely need a cushion, you, you would probably have to bring your own. What about an ice pack? Yeah, you could you could bring a nice pack. If it if it really hurts though back there, I don't know, you know, because it would be, definitely be a first time for me. Um, would I be able to lay on my stomach in the class? You'd have to ask the teacher. But what if I sign up for the class and he says no? I I you know. You know, I got blonde hair and blue eyes, so I have a feeling I'm. You know, I'm going to get assaulted. I'm in pretty good shape. You know, so, you know, I'm going to be somebody's bitch. I, I, I just, I can't give you really any more advice. It's going to happen. Um, People say I look like a young Brad Pitt, you know. Um, I really, I really don't have anything else that, that I can help you with. I mean, I want to take the class no matter what. No matter how many times I get raped in prison. I mean, no one can predict the future. I mean, is there any pointers you can give me? Well, well I've never been to prison. You know, not to give someone eye contact. My supervisor is advising me to hang up the phone. Just don't look anyone in the eye, or? Yeah, I'll try that. Um, but. Lick your lips, like when someone's walking by or I anything. Bye. If they're dry. Hello? I'm going to send you a package with our current recommendations, and I just wanted to verify your name and mailing address. What kind of package? About commodities investing, particularly the unleaded gasoline market. Well, what's the package for? About commodities investing, particularly the unleaded gasoline market. Well, you sending a package? Yes. Uh, what's the package for? It's uh, commodities investing, particularly the unleaded gasoline market. That's supposed to be sent to me? Yes. Oh, wait, what's the package for? It's uh, commodities investing, particularly the unleaded gasoline market. Right, and it's supposed to be sent to me? Yes. Uh, if you're interested, that is. Right. Mm -hmm. So what's your uh, current address? A package of, uh, of what? Of uh, commodities investing, particularly the unleaded gasoline market. And it's, it's going to be sent to, to me personally or to, just to anybody in general? No, to you personally. And what's the package for? It's uh, commodities investing, particularly on a gasoline market. I'm going to send it to you. To me? Yes, I just wanted to get your uh, correct address. So the whole package is going to be sent to me? Yes. And what's the package for? It's uh, commodities investing, particularly on a gasoline market. 
And when are you gonna, are you gonna send the package out? Yeah, so, so do you just have time just to mess around with people? I mean, uh, do you have a job? Why well, asking if I have a job or no, not? Because uh, either you're retired and you're senile or you're fucking with me right now. Why would I be fucking with you? You're having me repeat myself over and over again. Well, whose fault is that? Water Commission, this is Marcy. Hi, Marcy. This is Bobby Fletcher. Hi, Bobby. Can you hear me? I'm on my cell phone. Sometimes loud, and crap. loud and clear. Oh, you can't. Okay, sorry. I'm on the back road. Sometimes it's like, you know. Yeah. What can I do for you? Um, I'm just calling about my water bill. I think I had a problem with it. Um, I got Give me overcharged. Your address. What's your address so I can look, Bobby? I'm on Riverside Drive. Uh-huh. What's that number? 22. Let's find you. How can I help you? Two oh. oh, my God. What? I just hit something. Are you there? Yeah. Oh my god. Hold on one second. Oh my god. Oh my god. You better hang up and call 911. No, it's 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 just a deer. It's a deer? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Oh my Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What street I'm, are you on? I'm fine. I don't know, I'm in the middle of the country. Um Okay, so did you find my bill? Did you say it was 2 2? Yeah, 2 2. Okay, I'm sorry. I was looking for it. South Riverside. Yeah. You hit me. My okay. leg. I'm bleeding. So, Who's that? Uh, it, it's the deer. Um, cause I, It was like 40 extra. Why don't you call like four, me back? No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I want to get this straightened out. My wife's been on my case. It's, it was extra $40 that wasn't supposed to be on there. I don't see. What's your last name? I don't see 22 South Riverside. Let me, Fletcher. Okay. That's a person. No, no, it's not. It's not, miss. I can hear him. No, no, no. Can you hurry up, please? I'm trying before... to. Okay, I don't, want to, I don't want the cops or anything to come. Mr. Fletcher. Yeah. Something's not right here. No, it is $40 wrong. Why are you kidding me? Mm, shut up. Is it what? So I don't have a 22 you, South Riverside. Miss, this is between us two. No. No, no. It, it wasn't a deal. Hey, Mr. Fletcher. You're in on this too, Miss. Okay. Um, hey, you know what? Could you, could you please, please oh, wait, listen? I don't want to go to jail. All right, please. There's too much blood. Can you calm me down? Just tell me about your day, please, just to calm me down. Okay. Well, I'm gonna hang up. And I'm gonna call the no, police. I know what to do. I know okay. What to do. Don't worry. All right, all right, that's done. All right, so what about my bill? Security Finance, this is Lori. How may I help you? Hi, Lori. My name is Bobby Fletcher. I'm calling about a loan. Uh-huh. Have you been at your job and at your residence for a year or longer? Um, well, I usually go home after work. <laughs> Have you been employed with the same employer for a year or longer? Is this, are you going to be asking me a million questions here? I just want to get the loan. Yes, it's it's about a million and a half. I really don't have time. I was just hoping you guys would lend me a few thousand bucks. I could be on my way. Well, have you got the right lottery number? Uh, what are you talking about? For a few thousand that quick. No, but I'm just hoping, you know, do we have to ask all these questions? I mean, it's just a few thousand bucks. I could see if I'm, you know, borrowing a half a million or something. Well, even if it's just 120, we still have to ask the same amount of questions, yes. <sighs> Great. All right, shoot. Last name? Fletcher. First name? Bobby. <laughs> and how much money were you looking for today? Uh, two, three grand. Whatever we don't go up that high on personal property loans, sir. It's, it's not for personal property. It's just a bookie I got to pay off. Uh, we don't go that high for any reason. Um, all right, just give me 700 then. Make it quick, all right? No more uh, questions. 700, you would have to have a clear car title loan. Yeah, I got a car. You have a clear car yeah. title in your yeah, name? Yeah, it's a, well, it's a rented car, but whatever. I'll just give you that for collateral. No, sir. What do you mean, no? It has to be a clear car title in your name. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's, I got that. Next. You told me it was a rental yeah, car. Yeah, same crap, whatever. Just keep going. What's the next question? Sir, we're not going to be able to help you if you won't listen to the questions. I want to walk in there. You give me the cash. I leave. How's that? That doesn't work that way. Well, it's going to have to work that well, way because I'm very impatient. Sir. sir, I can't change company policy just for you. Ugh. 
sir, if I'm making you so unhappy, why do you keep pursuing me? Because account? I need the money, all right? Well, I can't give it to you under the terms you're requesting. You know, this is ridiculous. How do you, what, how do you guys do business over there? Sir, I don't have to take this application. You know, I don't even have to get along with you guys either, but I'm sticking no, with it. No, you don't. Where you live, is it a house, apartment, or mobile home? It's a mobile home. And who do you rent a mortgage with? Uh, this guy, Pete. And the phone number I can verify that at? I don't know. He don't have a phone. And where are you employed? <laughs> All right, my friend Steve. I work, me and my friend Steve work together. We sell blunts. And the phone number I can verify that at? I actually have to call him at the phone booth. And how long have you been employed by Steve? Um, me and him have been working together for a few months now. Well, I can uh, tell you now you're not going, we're not going to be able to help you. Why? Number one, you don't have a verifiable income. Number two, you don't have a verifiable residence. Um, there's just no way we'd be able to help you. Security prox. Hi, uh, how much you guys charge to open a lock? What, uh, what is this lock connected to? Uh, wood. Huh? Well, yeah, a, house or no, what? No, it's my business. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that would be about $65. All right. Just come out? Yeah. Okay, what is, your, what is the name of the business? Nordstrom. Hold it. I got a guy right there. You know what? I don't need him till 1 a.m., though. 1 a.m.? Yeah. Now you're looking 125 at least. Really? Really. Um, all right, I'll go with the 125. And what is your name, please? Bobby. Bobby Nordstrom. Okay, uh, Mr. Nordstrom, please, please don't be offended. But at 1 a.m., you wanting us to open a store like that, we're going to require ID. Okay, you know, I'll have my license there. I don't know what else he needs. All right, sir. What, what do we got to do? How, how is he with alarms? Is he good, the guy you're sending? Uh, uh, no, actually, that guy, that guy doesn't know much about alarms. Do we need to bypass an alarm? I don't know. Can he pick a safe? Uh, I don't know. Hold on a minute. I gotta see if he's gonna be available. Okay. At one o'clock in the morning. All right. Hold on a minute. Sure. Hi. Um, my name is. I run the company. Okay. I understand that you are a Nordstrom. That you want us to go in when one of your stores is closed and open the safe. I own the joint. Yeah, I understand that. And I lost you, the keys to the place. We're just looking out for liability. Yours and ours both, sir. Well, nothing's going to happen. We, if everything goes right, goes down smooth, everything's going to be cool. Of course, that being the exact phrase, if everything goes right. Well, what's, what's, what could go wrong? I mean, you guys do this all the time, right? But what are you, you trying to say? you want us to come at nighttime when the store's closed and there are no employees there, for some reason, which is your business, to open first the store and then the safe inside the store without any of your employees being aware of that. Exactly. Okay. So how much? Well, first question is, what about the safe? We're going to have to drill a hole in it. Or how long is that going to take? An hour or two. What about if we take the safe out and um, do it at your place or something? I could throw it in the back of my U-Haul. Then you guys can work on it whenever you need to. Um, and when the employees come to work, the next morning and there's no safe look my employees do what bobby nordstrom tells them what to do so i don't I have to worry about that my manager or anything mm -hmm. you know i don't want to tarnish the nordstrom name certainly not and because of respect to the nordstrom name that's why i'm being so careful well let's play everything safe just tell them to wear gloves we don't leave any fingerprints everything will be fine mm. it's really dark back there nobody's going to see anything just don't put the flash line until we get to the door uh, if we're trying to be that surreptitious, keep lights off, wear gloves. Look, I think we speak the same language. What size suit do you wear? I'll throw in a suit. I got Armani, whatever you need. <laughs> no, no, no. Look, you no? guys can open cash register. We'll hit the cash register right after that. I don't want any part of this. I'm sorry. Please. Okay, look, it's a little too late now. You're involved. I'm not involved. How would I be involved? Look, if I go down, you're going down with me. Based on what? You already agreed that you're going to open the safe. Sir, we're not Why doing you get this. You want me to send some girls over to change your mind? Sir, I don't know who you are, but I'm hanging up now. I'm it's done Bobby... talking about this. This is not happening. It's not Bobby Nordstrom. Me. We have nothing to do with this. Okay. No, thank you. Let's start over. I'm Goodbye. Bobby Starbuck. I'm hanging up. Goodbye. This is Julia, can I help you? Julia. Yes. Yeah, this is Bobby Fletcher. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was wondering about uh, joining your uh, program there. I need to lose a few pounds. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, what do I got to do? 
you'd come in for a consultation with one of the med techs and go over all the different medications that we offer. What do I got? What do I got to take? Uh, what do you? What am I going to throw up? Like the other slobs there or something? It, it, we have nine different things that we offer. So, it what, really like Twinkies, ring dings, yodels. No, we don't have things like that. <laughs> what do you have then? Um, we do, we don't have food. It's just medication. <laughs> What do you got, like crystal meth there? No. Because I've taken that before. I lost like four pounds. Really? Yeah. I only got to lose about ten pounds. Okay. What time would you want to come in? I don't want to be there when there's any, you know, you know those big fat slobs there because I feel embarrassed. You know, because those people really make me sick. Okay. Um, do you want to come in today? <laughs> um, are you fat? No, I'm not fat. Good. Then we got something in common. What time you got open? Um, between 2.30 and... Can you please quit burping in my ear? Uh, look, you know, you want me to lose weight. I'm trying to Is get all the time. Dr. Marlowe? How'd you know? <laughs> because Nori just went back there. Oh, my goober. God. I can't believe it. I, th- I had you going, didn't I? Who? Okay. What did you say your name was? It's Dr. Marlowe. You didn't know. No. Oh, my God. I'm standing here looking at Dr. Marlowe, and he's not on the phone. Listen, I'm Marlowe's friend, Dr. Marlowe's friend. He put me up to this. Oh, did he? Yeah, ask him. Well, why don't you ask him yourself? Because he's listening to you right now. (laughs) Marlowe. What do you need? What's up, bitch? How's it going? It's Steve. Steve who? Why are you playing dumb? Look, if she's still on the line... I don't. We don't have to tell about our relationship. I'm hanging up. I understand you have to hire it. This is absurd, sir. I'm sorry. This is very rude and very unprofessional. Is Marlo still on the phone? In everyone's ears. Is Marlo still on the phone? Just tell him I thought it was very mean of him that he didn't cuddle with me last night. Okay, this is not funny, man. I'm hanging up on you. You're you're disgusting me. I'm sorry. You're burping in my ear. You're calling the doctor gay, and. No, we're not. We're not gay. We're not gay. You're not gay, no. but he wouldn't cuddle with you. This, this That's is the third. And if you do not get off the phone, I'm going to call the police and have them trace the phone number. That's different. To, uh, look, I know you're trying to cover for him. That's fine. Hello. Mom. Yeah. It's Jack. Hi. Um, something's happened. What? Yeah, you're going to be really f***ing mad at me. Well, just tell me, darling. Just tell me. Come on. Um. It's your mum. Just tell me. I, uh, I got arrested. For what? I, uh, we were at the, Tom and I were at the casino, and, uh, we were standing by a craps table, and the dealer was being a dick. And I leaned over and grabbed the dice and walked off into the bathroom. And, uh, the cops followed me in there. Jack, Jack, Jack. And I was... Where are you now? I'm, I'm... In custody, and they, uh, I'm sitting. They, they just appointed me this lawyer. No, I'll get you a lawyer right he, now. My... Oh, hold on. He wants. He wants to have a word with you, darling. Hold okay. on. He, he just wants to have a word with you. Who does? The lawyer. Just okay. wants. Hello, uh, Ms. Osborne. Yeah. Who's yeah, this? Yeah, this is Bobby Fletcher. Bobby, who he, are you? Uh, I'm a lawyer over at the Palms, and um, I know the security here and the cops, and uh, I think we could straighten this out before it gets any further. What do we have to do, Bobby? Well. Uh, Whatever you have to f- do, pay. If he has to pay something to a charity or some big charity in Vegas, let us do it and get him out of here. And I just want to get him on a plane home. Okay. Well, uh, basically, I mean, the best thing to do, I mean, if someone can wire me 50 grand, uh, we can take care of this thing, no problem. That means that they're not going to keep him overnight, are they? Yeah, well, you know, look, you shouldn't have peed on that cop. That's the problem. You know, look, I don't know how quick... Oh, f*** off. This is this f***ing joke called I hate you, Jack. I f***ing hate you. Jack, I'm going to f***ing kill you, you little bastard. <laughs> Thank you for calling Chocolate Tear. This is Audrey. Hi, Audrey. Is this the Chocolate Factory? Yeah. Yeah, I want to talk to Willy Wonka. <laughs> you have the wrong number there. What do you mean? It's a Chocolate Factory, right? 
We don't have Willy Wonka. Do you have Grandpa Joe? No. Charlie Bucket? No. Veruca Salt? No. Well, I got a golden ticket, and I love chocolate. Yay! I want to be an Oompa Loompa now. Okay. Do you have a lot of chocolate there? Yeah. You do? You have uh, chocolate birds? No. You have chocolate blankies? No. How about chocolate pigs? No. Chocolate shoes? No, sir. Chocolate spaghetti? Sir, what is this car pertaining to? Chocolate, stupid! We have expensive chocolate. Plastic what? chocolate. Really? Yes, sir. My mommy has a chocolate boyfriend. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, she also has a chocolate penis in her closet. Alcoholics Anonymous. I'm Ed, and I'm an alcoholic. Yes, sir. Yay! Is this AA? It is. Yay! AA! What can I do for you, Ed? I need help. Okay. Yay! Yay! This is AA! Yay! Step one, right? You put your left foot in. Yay! I believe that's the uh, hokey pokey, Ed. Step two. You take your left foot out. Yay! This is definitely the hokey pokey. I got sippy drinks. I hit them under the bed. <laughs> Step five. Fold in the eggs. Fold in the eggs. Tastes great. You go. Tastes great. Oh, the old commercial. Yay! Tastes great. There you go. Come on, you go, lady. Tastes great. Less filling. Tastes great. Less filling. Tastes great. Less filling. I said tastes great. Less filling. Less filling. Tastes great. <laughs> What's your poison, lady? Well, as long as it had alcohol in it, I didn't care. Did you ever kiss a man? I don't remember a lot of the things I did when I was drunk. Do you think you kissed a man? I don't think so. Yes, you did. Did you kiss a man? Yes, I did. Homo! 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 Ah, ha, 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 ha. All right, here we go. I'm an alcoholic. Yep. But I'm not a homo. Good. Did he taste great, or was he less filling? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Got, got another line going, Ed. I'm going to have to run. No, don't go. But take care of yourself. I make in my pants sometimes. Hello? Yes, Judah? Yeah. Hey, it's at Incorporated. How are you today? Good. How are you doing? Oh, I'm wonderful. Okay, so how's it going? Are you out of breath or something? Well, I just came in. I was just, I got my lemonade stand out front, and I just came in because I heard the phone. Oh, okay. How old are you, Judah? I'm 32. Okay, do you invest? Yeah. Now, most of the investments start at 25000 Right. Is that in your So, wait, so if, you said, if I gave you that kind of money, how much could I make? You'd make 20% on your money. Really? Yeah. Yay! Uh -huh. Yay! I love money! Yay! That's great! Okay. I probably could sell my lemonade stand then. Yeah, you probably could. Oh, man, that's good! In um, I, uh, uh, I gave my brother ten dollars for sneakers. Okay. Yeah. And then I went to the store the other day and I got some Pokemon cards. And there's one. Pokemon cards are not included. No. What do you mean they're not included? That, that's. Uh, I, I bought them because they're going to be worth something one day. The Pikachu is worth at least fifteen cents. My mom told me. Yeah, and I got them in doubles in the cards. Yay! I got two Pookie Juice. No, 25000 I don't think you're going to make it with Pookie Juice cards or lemonade. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Right. That's great. I'm going to make a lot of money with this. This is great. Yay! Uh, I'd love to give you some of my lemonade. It's really good. I can imagine the lemonade is good. It's really good. Is your mom there? Um, no, she's not here. Who answered the phone? Uh, my brother, but he was on his way out. He had to go to court because he's up on these charges. What charges? I don't know. He touched some little kid or something. I don't know. Uh, how old is he? He's uh, 40. Oh. He tried to touch me, but I wouldn't let him. I'm like, I'll throw lemonade in your face. Oh. Uh, 
Okay, we'll right. do that. Look, we'll try and get some things out to you, and I'll talk to you later. No, but then we're going to get the money together. I'm going to make some money. This is going to be great. I know, but you have to have at least 25 So what are you saying? Though? I got money. Well, I don't know, because you're selling lemonade with 50 cents. No, it's not 50 cents. You sell it for a dollar? No, I sell it for 75 cents. Oh, yeah, but I sell a lot of lemonade. You know, there's some real thirst. It's a hot day today. I know it's hot today. Yeah, I probably made like at least four dollars. I didn't even count it yet. Okay, okay, Judah, Judah. What? I want to make some money. Yay! I want to make some money. Yay! Oh, okay. All right, Judah. Hello? Hi, Jesse? Yeah, this is Jesse. Hey, this is Ben from Corporation. How you doing? Ben who? Ben from Ben from Yeah. Remember sending us in an order form, sir? Uh, yeah, for radio, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got your it's order. It's a C, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a radio. Yeah, we got your order form, sir. Uh, but we didn't have a payment plan, so we couldn't ship one out to you. Oh, really? What do you get? Do you get, you get good stations on the radio? Oh, we get great stations. Can I get, like, Metallica and stuff? Can you get Metallica? And yeah, because they're my favorite band. Yeah, they're my favorite band, too. Really? Yeah, they're okay. That's great. Do you like uh, George Michael, too? George Michael? Yeah. Uh, he's okay. Good. Did you want to do the installment billing plan, or do you want to pay in full? Uh, I don't know. How much is it going to be? Because I don't know how much I got in my piggy bank. Well, do you use a credit card, right? What? Do you use a credit card? Uh, No. You don't use a credit card. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, my, my, my piggy bank. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the change from there. You're going to take the change from your piggy bank? Yeah. You got a lot of changes? I got a lot, yeah. It's, it's pretty full. It's full of change, huh? It's full of change, yeah. So I'm, I used a little the other day to buy some Starburst, but other than that, I got a lot in there. I'm sorry. I got a conference call coming in, sir. Let me call you right back, okay? okay well, where are you going? I'm gonna, I want to get the thing. Hold on a second. Okay. Jesse, all we do is we, we can ship it out to you if you use a credit card or a debit card. A credit card or what? Or a debit card. What the hell is that? Works out of your checking account. Uh, I'll just don't get, I'll go to the uh, post office and get some money from the change. Okay. You want to give us a call when you're ready to send it in? No, I'm ready to send it in. Okay. You don't want me to get the radio? I want to hear some Metallica. Okay. How much? I'm gonna start counting my change. How much do I owe? What is this thing? It's gonna be three hundred and forty-nine dollars plus tax. Three hundred and forty-nine? That sounds like a good deal. It is a good deal. It'd be oh. better if you use the credit card because I can place the order tonight for you. Three, four. I got a lot of pennies in here. Eight, nine. Some nickel. Indian nickel. You gotta take an Indian nickel. Indian head, or buffalo head, whatever they are. Yeah, we'll take it. Oh, here's, you know what, Jesse? Here's a quarter. Oh, okay, here's fifty. Jesse, you know what you can do? Here's a dollar. I got a dollar so far. How much more do I need? You gotta keep searching. You need more than a dollar. No, I know. What did you say again? It was three hundred sixty dollars. Three hundred sixty. Yeah, I'll get. I'll, I can get to three sixty. If you just give me a minute or so. Three hundred and sixty. Yeah, I know what it is. All right, I'm gonna let you go, buddy. I got two forty-two right so far. Now, you're going to have to go to the post office anyway, so how about I'll call you tomorrow and we can put it all together and make a sale for you. Well, the post office is right uh, two blocks over. It's right there. What's the rush? Well, i got to go. You want to sell this radio or not? Yeah, but I can't sell it for pennies and nickels, sir. I have to sell it on a credit card. Well, what are you talking about? It doesn't... If, the, if I get you $369, then you give me the radio. It doesn't matter how where, where I get the money from. That's true. Yeah, so what are you talking about? All right, do you want my number? You can call me back. No, I want you to wait. I'm going to count my change. You know, I feel like the thing. I want the radio. You call me. You want to sell me the radio. Tell me Metallica's going to be on it, and now you want to go. I want the damn radio now. Hey, sir, I don't want to be rude, but I have to go. Where are you going to go? Come on, for real. Okay. What you can do, sir, when you get your change count and all that, and you really want it, you can call us back, and you can order one. Oh, man, you must. I don't know how you guys stay in business over there. Business because of the people who enjoy our quality of music. Yeah, but you know, you, you, you want to sell a thing and then you don't give a guy time to count his change up. No, 32, 33. I have to go, sir. I'm sorry. 34. Hello? Hello? Yeah, this is Ben from Corporation. Yeah, this is Jesse from Corporation. Hey, Jesse, you 
who's this? Who's this? Ed, I have a joke for you. Knock, knock. Well, who's Ed now? I don't want to know. No, you're supposed to say who's there. Knock, knock. Well, who is over there? Uh, <laughs> I got you, lady. That's a good one, isn't it? Okay, let's do another one. Knock, knock. Lady? Who are you talking about, a lady? Yeah. What kind of a lady's voice do you think you're hearing? Ah, uh, yeah, you sound like my mommy. Knock, knock. Mm. Knock, knock. Come on, boy. Let's get busy here. Knock, knock. Who's there, then? <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I got you. Knock, knock. Goofball. Stop being a goofball. I don't like knock-knock jokes. N no? no? All right, then I'll tell you another one, then. Lady. Quit calling me a lady. You sound pretty, lady. Are you pretty? If I knew who was calling here, I'd sure... Knock-knock. Who's there? <laughs> I got you. Yay! I got you. That's a good one, isn't it? Say, who's laughing? Not me. Knock-knock. Man, you're getting on my nerves, I'll tell you for sure. Lady, you don't sound like you're in a good mood. Do you have a baby coming or something? Who are you trying to embarrass, anyway? <clears throat> talking about a baby coming and talking to a man. Yeah. What's the matter with you, goofball? You're a knucklehead. Well, you're a goofball. You're a knucklehead. No, I'm not. I'm not a knucklehead. Are you lonely, like me? No, I'm not lonely. I'm a married man. Okay. Do you ever play with your vagina? Hey. What? Where are you coming from here? Uh, I come from my house. Sound me like you're a low bread. Bread makes me poop. I gotta go poop, lady. <laughs> Yeah, who's this? This is Harvey. Who you want to speak to? Harvey, this is Ed. What, what's up, my man? What's up, bro? You, I got big boy hair. Yay! I want to know if you guys can cut it. Make it look fancy. No, no. no. Why not? <laughs> no, I, I, I can't cut that. It's growing in my magic place. Okay. Could you put a weave on my big boy hair? Huh? Do you have big boy hair? No. I do. Well, I can't cut that. Do you have... Does big boy milk come out? No, I just do cutting and a little braiding. That's it. That is... Because my big boy hair, it's fuzzy like my blankie. Well, I keep telling you, I don't cut that. If you don't have it, who cut yours? I don't cut mine. What do you mean? I don't cut big boy hair. So why you keep bothering well, no. Well, who cut yours? Because you said that someone... I don't some... have big boy hat. So why you keep bothering me? Because... You're going to make... Listen, you're making trouble this way because I have a haircut. I know you have a and, haircut. And, and, and don't call me no more. I just want to know if you... Well, cut don't my... call me no more, okay? I have big boy hair, but I got a little boy penis. How can I help you? Hi, who's this? This is... Yeah, this is Ed. Yes, Ed? Yeah, what time is it? It's 1.30. 1.30? Yay! It's time to make the donuts. <laughs> Thank you, sir. How much are the strawberry donuts? 69.10. Yay! It's time to make the donuts. Thank you. How much for the vanilla donuts? Same price, sir. 69 cents. Yay! It's time to make the donuts. It is definitely time to make the donuts. How much are the crawlers? Same price, sir. 69 cents. Yay! It's time to make the donuts. Yes, it is. Do you make the donuts with your butt? Whatever you want. It depends upon you what you eat. So you can make the donuts with your butt? Yeah, if you want to eat it. Yay! It's time to make the donuts with your butt. Yes, why don't? Come over. Lady, how much is the plain donuts? Same price. What is that? You don't remember? No. That's too bad. Do you remember? No. That's too bad. Yes, it is. Well, how much is it? 
69 cents. Yay! It's time to make the donuts. No problem. Why don't you come over and we'll give you some. You have crawlers? We have. Does anyone ever buy a crawler and put it in their butt? Well, if you wish to. Yay! It's time to put a crawler in my butt. Do you have cream donuts? Yes, we do. Yay! It's time to make the donuts. Do you have ones with holes in them? I have all kinds. Do you ever put your pee-pee in the hole? Oh, yes. Um, I want my mommy. John Public Library, Daddy speaking. Hi, Daddy. Yes. Can you look up the word moron? What do you want to know, the definition? Yeah. Okay, just a minute. Okay. Shh. According to Webster's Shh. Dictionary. Shh, you have to whisper. You're in the library. According to Web- Webster's, Webster's Dictionary. Shh. Shh. A feeble minded person. Shh. Shh. Keep it down, mister. Or mental defective with a potential mental age of between 8 and 12 years. Shh who is capable of doing routine work under supervision. Like working at the library? Shh! Yay! Shh! 